We're back in the studio! Australians restrictions have been slightly lifted. We're supposed to be further away, but we're not. When we're here to talk games! We got PlayStation 5 news for you. Just for you. No one else, just you there. And we're yeah. going to compare all that PlayStation 5 news against what we know about the Xbox Series X and see who's going to come out on top again on tonight's Critical Path. Wow. Good. We're good because we're back in the studio. Yeah. We are Hack the Dino and this is the 98th time we have done The Critical Path. Now, for those of you who can count and have enough fingers, we are two away from our 100th episode, which we're planning something. We have no idea what we're doing. Um, so if you've got an idea about what you want to see on the 100th episode, leave a comment down below um, or head on over to YouTube when this goes up on, on YouTube at uh, youtube.com backslash hack the dino and post a little thing there about what you'd like to see on the 100th episode. Or maybe you're watching live now on Twitch, which is twitch.tv backslash hack the dino. You know what you can do there? You can sound off right now live what you want to see in the hack the dino critical path 100th episode. Are you, are you trying to break <laughs> wind or... I'm just licking the side of the screen. <laughs> okay, that, that's sanitary. Um, we're also over on mixer.com backslash hack the dino. Do the same thing. Uh, if you are listening to this audibly, which is what most people do when they're listening to something, you can... <laughs> Let me spit my coffee out. <laughs> <laughs> you can send us an email or, or do any of those things, but just tell a friend. Just tell a friend about us on SoundCloud, on iTunes, on... Uh, Spotify as well. Spotify. Spotify is friend for all people. That's what you can do. You can go to iTunes and you can uh, review us and give us five stars because that helps with algorithms. And then just put down what you want to see in the 100th episode. Anyway, they know what to do. My name's Ben Rosenthal. <laughs> I'm joined by some jaunty fellows. Standing to my right or sitting is the limb collector himself, Mr. Dan McGuinness. <laughs> Hello, back in the studio. I'm so happy I don't have to press buttons and Brayden has to do it again. I'm and on it. to my left is the, what are you? You're the game anthropologist. I was going to call you the mysterious enigma. I'm, I'm okay with that. All I right. like that more. Floppy Staric. Woo! Hello, guys. Yeah. Uh, it is good to see you. Yes, I can see you. In the chat. We can see you guys. And in the chat. Banished back to the dark realm from whence he came. <laughs> The Millennial Falcon, Mr. Braden Dixon. Howdy, folks. I'm mm -hmm. over here in the corner. Didn't even give me a chance to sip my coffee. Anyway, 98, 98 episodes. This is crazy. Um, if you also are keen and have a Discord, you should plug in your cord and get on our Discord at bit.ly backslash hack the dino. I know I won't say that again. Get <laughs> bit.ly backslash hack the dino. Hey, boys, need to plug in your cord? <laughs> <laughs> Join us on our Discord. <laughs> Great stuff. You just call 1-800-HACK-THE-DINO. We've got all the uh, words. We oh, we need to stop now. Stop that. Stop that. Mum's here. I need a shower. What have we been playing? What we've been playing. Well, Braden's way better at that than I am, hey? <laughs> he has, he so actually, much. He actually does it at the times when it needs to be done. What have we been playing? I have been playing... I played heaps this week, actually. Mm -hmm. I I have every day since I moved my Xbox into my main house. I've been playing this new game. His main house, yeah. Because yeah. Moneybags McGuinness over here owns a couple. That's yeah, good Moneybags McGuinness. Um, I like that. Moneybags McGuinness. Can you change that to my name? Anyhow, no, I'm uh, going to change it to Ballbag. I've been McGinnis. playing stuff. I just just <laughs> off the bat quickly. I've been doing Minecraft Dungeons. I've been doing um, I've been doing Daisy. I played Daisy for like 35 minutes and didn't find one item and I died of starvation. I thought, must have been a glitch. Loaded it again. Same thing happened. There's not many items in that game. Shit game. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was good. So I've been playing Demon's Tilt. Now, so this is a... Um, That's so cool. This is a pinball game made by Flob. Flub LLC uh, st uh, Studios and Win Win Z Winnings War Wisdom. Win Wisdom. Wisdom. War. I feel like I'm back in the nineties. Yeah, you basically are. Um, so this, I'm a massive fan of digital pinball games. Um, I grew up with like the pinball on NES. I really used to love that. I loved Pinball Dreams. Remember on PC and Pinball Ooh, Fantasies. Yes. Um, Was I that the one on MS DOS that had the little spaceman in the corner and you just press the space bar to get the flippers? No. Nah. 
Oh, Maybe. Um, Pinball Dreams is like three games in one. One was a car one and stuff like that. And then I played Devil Crush on the Mega Drive, which was, which is basically this game. It's, I've actually got some footage of... Can you just crack to the next one, Brayden? The next um, footage. So this is Devil Crush on the Mega Drive. Let's just see if you notice any similarities in this game and that game. Oh, um, ca capture the middle uh, middle bit or something. This is like... It's definitely Pinball. Uh, that's, a, that's cool. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Um, this is not the bits I'm saying. These are all the mini games <laughs> from it. Yeah, this, this, this is the main part of the game. So basically, it's a gothic pinball simulator. Um, and I love this game. This game was so good. And I, when I saw Demon's Tilt, um, I got all over it. We can go back to the other one now, Braden. <laughs> Sorry, cool. that's all I wanted. Just quickly jump between all of them. It's good. Oh, just quickly. It, just it. quickly. Just do your bloody job. And, um... <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> Off the keys for a week and mad no, with actually, power. No, I, I said I was going to be nicer from now on. As you can see, <laughs> as you can see here, Demon's Chill. It is a um, gothic pinball simulator. Uh, as I, said, I love these kind of things. So, uh, what, what do you say about this? This game you can you can clock it in about three point five hours, which is heaps long for a pinball game. Hey, like that is a long time to play. Um, I think you clock it at it's fifty two billion. And if you look like online, so many people have done it, like in the high scores and stuff. Um, what I found about it is like what you saw in that last video from uh, from Devil Crash. It has a whole bunch of mini games in it where you go in and you have to finish the mini game to then go through them all and then to, to get the big scores. This doesn't have the mini games in it, which I was really surprised. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? Like, it's just this one scre uh, screen, like the three parts to it, which the same as Devil Crash had as well. Um, so I thought that was a real downfall on it, and I really wanted those, you know, those extra screens that you could get in and fight the main guys and stuff like that. But I looked it up, and it's just like you just basically play this this part over and over and over and over again. Not to say that there isn't heaps of stuff to do in here. Well, it's a lot more realistic than fighting mini bosses, then, isn't it? Yeah, no. It's pretty what do you pretty. Mean? Well, you don't get to fight mini bosses on a real pinball table. Oh yeah, well I don't like real pinball, so this is why it's probably like this. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh sp speaks to me uh, a lot like uh the these digital ones so, like even like the next and then i also played um do you remember there was the motley crew one on mega drive i can't remember what it was called but anyway had, oh motley crew is the music um my dad loved that you know the one i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. me that before yeah oh man i had that as well so i was all over these pinball like uh, uh Ones, but I don't like ones that are like, trying to replicate real pinball. I like it because there are games out now that you know we actually have like RPG dungeon crawlers that are all pinball based. Like you actually hit pinballs around in all the dungeon That's rooms crazy. and sh fight guys and everything. And I, I really love them. Um, the the music in it is very 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 similar to Devil Crash. Like to the point where I'm like, are these just rejiggered versions of them? And um, yeah, that's about it really. So it was fun. It's on Games Pass. It's on Xbox. Oh, is yes. it? Sweet. I bought Star Wars Pinball on the Switch when it first came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so right. anyone's out there Wars. like Ben. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Ben's, Ben's converted over to the Xbox side now. He's got Game Pass. Well, well, then convert Did you get No, no, Did... let's not let's not cast aspersions here. Let, let's just calm down. Just calm down. When you say converted. Did I that... saw an opportunity to get free games and I got a cheap Xbox. <laughs> that is Did you get, advantage did you get, of get on, Xbox. On, now, on Xbox, you have to get... Game Pass Ultimate for it to work, don't you? Yeah. 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 So I had I had to do that when I went inside. I went, oh man, it's gone from four bucks to 15 bucks. And I'm like, who cares? Oh, well, it's worth it. Yeah, it definitely is it worth is it. Very so, much worth so it. So in the end, great game. Um, I wouldn't pay much for it because as I said, mm. it's only these screens. And you, I feel like it's it's good, but Devil, if you want a real good um, game, go to Mega Drive Devil Crash. And I think it's called Demon Demon Crash. It was originally on the PC Engine. That, uh, oh! Hey! Which I also have that version. If you love the PC Engine and you're not, clap your hands. Oh, good. Yeah, you've got one. There's one there. I can see it over there. PC Engine. Mwah. Probably yeah, the best console ever released. Crispus. Beautiful. The games come on indestructible rock hard bits of... What are they called? S-carts or something like that? Or? Uh, PCU. Uh, yeah, they're called something. That I can't like, at the one. end of the world, there's going to be, like, cockroaches, cockroaches riding on these things. <laughs> but these that's carts, the only left. Like, they're like this big and they're solid and they're solid and you used to trade them the whole game fits on this little cartridge card um yeah we should have got we're gonna do a pc engine special i've just gonna... just decided we'll do a pc engine oh special at some point. PC engine and it's got the pinball game in it oh well, there you go uh so this is your pc engine this is how big the consoles are as well oh i forgot we can do this <laughs> <laughs> um so that, yeah, you open it up you click it out this is the, the car and as you can see the car is just look at Look at that. The whole game fits on there. This cart here... And it's rock solid. That, that, that's just like... It's pretty unbreakable. I like, can snap that. No, no you can't. Um, 
So this, this Dying. card... Fucking good, I think. Uh, Street Fighter. Uh, came, Street Fighter 2 came on this card, and it is possibly the best port out of sight of arcades of Street Fighter 2. That's how good the PC Engine is. It's No, honestly, if you haven't played it, you can't make that noise. I haven't. They're, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying... No, you're doing you a disapproving sold, dad noise. You haven't. And I have flashbacks on... for that. And right? you can hold your whole PC Engine catalog in one hand. <laughs> like a deck of cards. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. What do you want to play? What do you want to play? It's time. To do, 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 do. But this is what they used to do. They used to go to school and, and uh, uh, trade them. So you got R-Type on here. you got uh, Kid Bong. Kid got, Bong? Yep, yep, that's Kid right. Kid Bong. You've got War of the Dead. And um, Kid Bong. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Ninja Warriors. You, you've got... Doramon. Oh, hey, there it is. There's the Street Fighter one. And it's a bit it's a bit more... Right, right give me a close-up. And kids with bongs, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That's Ryu. What a sexy man. And it's got a little bit of an extra on this one. It's got a little it's a bit padded up. Yeah, yeah, because they had to fit the extra RAM in there to make it a good good, good RAM. Kids Anyhow, let's, let's, make let's, it the best RAM. It's the best RAM. Ryu I, RAM. Now that, is, now that was... That was a Norton digress. I love that. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. Ben would have never let me do that back in the day. No, because I was. <laughs> what, is it, what do you reckon the difference is with the different bat colours? Um, that uh, is their rarity. <laughs> do you know that they're all numbered as well? <laughs> mm -hmm. How good is that? So you can actually know what number you've so got. So you know the uh, rare ones. Look, Volt 22. There's number I still 22. Say I can snap it. If you've got a double, Five. I'll snap it. So I've been playing a game. Uh, it is called. <laughs> Well, it's, it's more DLC. It's Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. It's the DLC uh, that continues the story after where Mortal Kombat 11 finished. Now, spoilers alert, this picks up from the very end of the game. So if you haven't finished it, probably uh, just ignore us for a sec. I haven't finished it. Okay, well, it's going to get spoiled for you. That's fine. I guess uh, they uh, win. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is more of the same. So if you enjoyed the campaign in the main game, you'll pretty much enjoy this as well. It's the same style, same everything, just new characters. Uh, Shang Tsung is sort of like the leader. You've got Fujin and Nightwolf and Shiva all making their comeback, as well as Sindel. Uh, I've got written here, the storyline is fun. It's campy, B-grade uh, writing and characters. And I wouldn't have it any other way because Mortal Kombat 11 knows exactly what it is. He's got Oloven. I did. <laughs> I was going to let him go with that one. Please, like Oliver. <laughs> Please, sir, can I have some more? But really, this thing is camp as hell and it is fantastic. Uh, it again goes with the time travel storyline. So it pretty much... <coughs> I just like to say that we, we are free of the virus. The plague isn't in it's South Australia. Choking on the coffee. And yeah, keep going. Um, Ignore him. Oh, he's so, on the ground. <laughs> he's supposed to be that colour. Uh, it takes about three hours to complete, just depending on uh, if you go uh, baby level or not. Uh, it does cost $60. Oh, what? I thought it was free. No, what? no, no. This is a $60 DLC because you have to also get the um, added characters. So You have to? You have to. So you have to buy the DLC pack that came out before this with the characters, and then you get the free DLC uh, as well as the paid DLC. Now, I paid $50 for the original game and then 60 for this DLC that only goes for about two and a half hours. So is the 60 dollars just this DLC or is that the season pass for all DLC? Uh, no, no, just the three characters that came out previously. You really like Mortal Kombat. That's I, wait, a lot so of you money. you don't even have like Spawn? No, you do get Spawn. That's the, oh. You get that first because there's a second oh, and third DLC. Oh, you new one. Yeah, That's so gosh, you get the yeah. previous ones that come up to this. You don't get Robocop. Uh, no, you do. Just a oh. warning. So you get the... everything with the season yeah, pass. Yeah, that's what to, you're trying to say. Everything that's been released up until now, you get. Okay. So now that if there's new stuff... You don't get then that. Then you don't get that. That's a lot gotcha. of money. Well, I mean, Ed Boon did say that they intend to just keep updating this game as it moves forward. Um, one of the things that I really loved about this, they had the original voice actor who was Shang Tsung in the really awesome 90s movie. Oh, he's a yeah. bad guy in everything, isn't he? Yeah, but he, he voiced Shang Tsung in this game as well. So... Yeah. They made him say every iconic line he had in that movie in here. So he goes, flawless victory. Finish him. Uh, uh, all of it. Uh, there's other ones. Oh, your soul is mine. He says that as well. It's great. And I popped I my th boobs off. I thought that um, Shang Tsung in this was actually quite likable. Yeah. Did you know what I mean? As a character, when I saw the, like, the cutscenes at the opening one, I was like, He's, is he going to turn out to be kind of a good guy? Because they've made him like, quite likable. What they've start. done really, really well uh, is given these two-dimensional characters more character and make him a little bit more realised. And because they're not afraid of sounding lame or campy, they're just going everywhere with it. Like, um, at the start of the game, the original game, Mortal Kombat 11, 
Uh, Scorpion's been restored into his human form. I'm going to spoil this, so uh, switch off now. But halfway through the game, the because uh, there's all time travel and you're facing pre- last versions of yourself, mm. uh, Demon Scorpion comes back and kills Human Scorpion. <laughs> So they basically just retcon uh, Mortal Kombat 10 and make him 11. And they do that even more in this. So there's even more of that here. Um, yes. How do, how do they explain Robocop? Oh, he's just a special character. He's not in the storyline at all. he was? <laughs> that would Peter be Weller. <laughs> but one thing you get for free, so aside from the, um, the, the DLC that you pay for, you also get uh, the Soul Chamber level, the Deadpool level, and you get friendships uh, available. Friendships make their return. I don't think they've been in games since uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Two, yeah. And people didn't well, like them because they took away from the, uh, well, the not, brutal nature. It's not why you play Mortal Kombat, is it? Well, it is now because they are the best feature of this game. I've picked out five of the best ones. Uh, so uh, five one of the ones you like. <laughs> <laughs> so coming up, number five, I chose Noob Sabot. This is his friendship here. Uh, so he does a little code. He clones himself. And they do a skipping time. Yeah, for, yeah. so right. this one, I agree, is one of the best ones. That is pretty awesome. Because he's doing it to the music as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the ones that kind of go for a long time. And this I one, do that. And, the, and the points. Can you? Yeah. Yep. Don't believe uh, it. Next one. This is going to be a bit harder for Brayden to get through them. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying as best I can. I'm just dragging it out You know you can just, like, with the new thing, Brayden, you can just press across, uh, down, and it goes to the next video. I'll try that. Uh, next one, we've got Raiden, or as I called him, Raveden. Because <laughs> he's like right. Yeah, thank he you. makes a little mate. Um, well, he did that in Mortal Kombat 2. So, a lot of these characters had friendships in Mortal Kombat 2. It's basically just updated. So, in Mortal Kombat 2, he just went and made Kid Raiden, and that was it. But here, they're doing a fluoro dance party. It's I love rad. The star. Yeah, it's great. Uh, coming up after that is one of the downloadable characters, the Terminator. Good old Arnie, the T800, coming in and uh, not blowing people's faces off. Is this old? T- it is old Arnie. Yeah, it's old Arnie. From like Genesis? Tiny. Is it Something like that. Uh, the latest film. So yeah. off he goes and you think, oh, what's this guy going to do? <laughs> He's going to get a bite. <laughs> wait for it. Wait, yeah. for it. wait for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Terminator smile. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes backward and forward doing That's tricks. amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, second to best one, which it was hard for me to choose between uh, the first and second. So this is the runner up. Brayden, hit it. This is Jax. I think this is the best one. Because like, you need the music. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's like, just 80 sax jazz. Yeah. But and then it goes into the theme. Did it, did it, did it. And I like the little uh, the acknowledging, acknowledging look he gives and tilts his glasses and rises uh, his little It eyes. reminds me of, cool, do you guys remember man. in The Lost Boys? The saxophone yeah, I was going to say that. That was Tina Turner's bodyguard or something. Oh, really? Yeah. And Fun here fact. we go. Here we go. The final one that I think is the best because I am a child of the 80s. Bring it on, bring it on. A good pal oh. Robocop and his friendship, he does the robot. Oh. <laughs> but he does it like, it's funny because he, it's also overlaid with like an old VHS filter. So it looks like it's like old, you know, um, like wild style footage and stuff like that. I really like that. Did they get Peter Weller to voice his line? Yes. Yeah. They got him to do the dance. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm not sure it was worth the $60 that I spent Ooh, yeah. on it uh, on top of the, you know, 60 I paid for at the start. So, oh, we got more. Yeah, these are just some of the other Do you ones. Think they're going to bring out a Game of the Year edition later and it's going to have all of Oh, it's got Young anyway. Arnie as well. Yeah, he's a different skin. Um, maybe. I don't know. It depends how much they like money. I'll get it when they do that. Well, I'm say, everything. yeah. As They're- someone who never cared for Mortal Kombat ever, the mm. entire time of my childhood. Because you're a skeddy man? Yes. This game, like when it came out, I played through it entirely, loved it, and everything they're doing with the DLC... I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. they've committed to updating this as well. So yeah. we won't get a Mortal Kombat 12 for a long, long time because they have the ability now to just keep on building, building, building. This game is like, it, it, it's it's tugging at those nostalgia strings that everyone loves. But being a modern game, to me, I think it's the best fighting game at the moment. And yeah. I know Street Fighter is usually the best fight, but I actually think the latest Street Fighter ones aren't that good. I, I said it. Street as- Fighter 4 was excellent. Uh, Street Fighter 5 suffered from launch problems. But better now. Uh, now it's great. Yeah. But I honestly think Mortal Kombat 11 is probably a better game. I can't play Mortal Kombat 11 because I'm a pacifist and I believe all living things should be able to exist together in harmony. No, you're not. Just, it, actually... just as a friendship then. Yeah. Can I talk about what I'm playing now? Yeah. Oh, I think Brayden wanted to chip in quickly. Oh, or sorry, we... Brayden. Just super duper 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 quickly. Uh, keep an eye out for Last of Us Part 2 comes out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, oh, it, it does. Weeks. Apparently. Comes out really soon. Uh, keep an eye out because I plan on doing a nostalgia looking back at Naughty Dog games. 
And that's Ooh. not just Uncharted and Last of Us. Ooh, a little teaser. Ooh. Ooh. A little... Stay tuned for more Ooh. of Brayden. Yeah, we Floppy. will. I can't wait. I was going to make my pacifist comment and then go into what I was uh, playing, which I've been Flower. playing. Man Eater. Man Eater. I've been playing Man Eater. I've been a big shark and I've been man munching eater. on so many people. He's a man eater. Uh, no, so this is a game He's by... the a man with the eating touch. Stop man it. eater. <laughs> it's been... Oh, I was expecting it. Uh, Triple A Man eater. Oh! Jesus. So guys that did uh, Killing Floor and uh, lots of little random things that I've never heard of. Um, oh, I didn't know it was a Killing Floor guy. Yeah, same guys. They did a whole bunch of Killing Floor games and they did lots of little weird things and they've done Man Eater. Uh, it is an open world RPG where you are a giant. Well, you don't start off as a giant. As a, you're a bull shark. Mm-hmm. You're a bull shark. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get to wander around. You get to go to seven different sort of areas. Seas. Seven seas. seas. Well, no, there's bayous. There is oceanside areas. There is cool nuclear waste dump site type areas that have been uh, flooded. And you get to go on missions to be able to make yourself a bigger shark and a better shark and evolve yourself beyond what nature intended. Um, you get to do side quests. It's like legitimate an RPG. No, as a shark. no, no. You say what it is. You say what it is. An what RPG. shark PG? PG. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that. That's the official. Like, it wasn't mine. That's what the developers call it. A shark it's PG. It's on the back of the. It's on the back yep. of the case, actually. Uh, it is actually really good. So in the seven areas, you have apex predators that you want to that you want to munch on, so that you can move to the next level and level yourself up. Things like that. There's things like alligators, barracudas. Uh, you get other sharks, um, people, but there are also these hunters that come out. Yeah, there are shark hunters that come out after you. So once you munch enough people to get your infamy level up, they come out in droves and they have laser sights and things, and they come after you, and you eat them be able to get points so that you can go in and do things like get upgrades to your teeth and make them bioelectric teeth. Because I, yeah. I heard that the, um, I don't know if you're going to mention this, but I heard that the there's a commentator over and it's Chris Parnell doing yeah, the voice. I was literally just about to say Chris uh, Parnell is the narrator. Yep. And, and, he and gives for those you... who don't know Chris Parnell, he's, he's Jerry from uh, Rick and Morty. I don't he's know who that is. He's also in Archer. And oh, he's in every, He's in he's everything. An Anchorman. Yeah. He's, he's in man. everything. He's Hilarious in everything man. the Lonely Island does. And like, He was yeah. in Hot Rod. He was the, the AM, AM radio, radio guy. guy. <laughs> God um, believes that AM radio is going to have a comeback. Yeah, it's amazing. So the narrator, like, because one of the things that you do through this is you go find landmarks and it gives you a little story about the area and he narrates the whole thing like this B-grade sort of movie narrator. It's amazing. It is so good. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> um, we go. I know lots of people love this game and a lot of people don't like this game. So it's it's definitely one I reckon you have to well, play to work out whether it's you, your you thing. Do, yeah. A lot of people say it's just repetitive. But well, I, I don't know the people initial that love it. Like Jen, who I who I do television podcast with, she um she loves it. She's already finished it. She's a she's she's a clocked it, whatever, you know, up yeah, to level thirty it, robot it. shark she is or something. Roll so like I don't think it's Roll long credits. enough particularly to get super bored with. Like I think you can smash through this in probably about eight hours. She didn't about a week. How much is it? Uh fifty Oof. four, fifty nine. It'll go yeah, down. It'll get down. What's right the in. uh the, just to you know appease me what's the trophies like <laughs> you know what i don't hunt trophies i haven't even looked at them um enough. i think well there's collectibles for example i think you can collect uh number plates oh yeah, there's a crocodile yeah, he's massive um, look, at so you can yeah, look at all plates. the people that have been dropped into the river <laughs> <laughs> anyhow the different areas that you get to are really cool because they have their own specific things that make it unique to that. Like this area here, I think is like the third area where it's an old sort of, I think it was a nuclear power plant that's been flooded and you go through. And of course, nuclear Oof. power plant means alligators and barracudas that are bigger. There are different kind of fish you can eat. So you can eat, uh, gr- I think they're called groupers, groupers. and cat groupers and catfish that give groupers. you health. <laughs> they're catfish. Catfish, so they give you health. Um, and then you it's can eat- It's called health. Yep, health. And you can eat predators. What? Predators. Uh, predators. Yeah, I was trying to do the you thing. It didn't work. Forget about it. Be you, uh, you, you, be you, you floppy. Eat, be you. You can eat Bill Cosby. Yes, you can eat Bill Cosby's, um, Kevin Spacey's. Game all of those the year. <laughs> uh, to be able to get points, to be able to upgrade yourself or evolve yourself, you've got sonar, you've got um, bone teeth or bioelectric teeth, and all sorts of things. It's yeah. really, really awesome. There is a story. There is an actual story. And uh, little spoilers. I'll give a little spoiler alert if you don't want to know the story. Don't Too listen bad. from now on. Who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a shark yeah, game, mate. supposed to be nice? It's a shark game. So at the start of the game, you oh, are, yeah. you're a big, fully grown mama shark. 
and you're swimming around and it's the tutorial and you're learning how to uh, eat beach goers and stuff like that. And then a shark hunter comes out named Scaly Pete, who's mm -hmm. this really cool French guy, massive dude, just wears overalls and has lots of tats. And he spears you and captures you and kills you and drags you up into the back of the boat. And you're like, what the hell? This is the start of the game. He then goes on to slit you down the middle all your guts and shit fall out and he pulls out a baby shark and you're the baby shark and he scars you or something and throws he you back you in scars you and you eat his hand therefore. sorry what are you don't ba baby shark no don't baby oh. shark baby shark I should have seen that coming you should have I have no idea what you're referencing there he is scaly Pete scaly Pete man um, scourge of the bayou uh, so you're you've got a vengeance against him because he killed your mum and he hates you because you yeah. ate his hand why not it's a great game. I love it. It's exactly what I needed because I've been playing Alien Isolation as well, which is really full on and very atmospheric and hard. So this is a nice, cool... Oh, that's the actual... There you go. Um, it reminds me of uh, some really awesome uh, shark movies that you can watch. Uh... <laughs> Sharknado? No, and one that's even better. Uh, I saw one years ago that was called Ghost Shark. Yes, <laughs> that's a good one. And it was a shark that was a ghost. Oh, and, yeah. and like kids went down a slip and slide and the Ghost shark came out of the slip inside and ate them. <laughs> nice. Yes. There's one my, better. I've, my dad loves D grade shark movies. Um, Amazon Prime is full of them. Yep. Uh, some of his favorites include Sand Sharks. Sand Sharks is great. Uh, two headed shark. Uh, I believe there's also Shark vs. Octopus shark. and Octo Shark or something yes. like that. Shark Octopus. Shark Octopus. Shark Octopus. Shark Octopus. Shark Octopus. With Octopus. Eric Roberts in it. Yep. Isn't there like Shark Octopus versus Robo Shark? There's Mega yeah. Shark versus Giant Octopus. Yep. Oh. Look at him, Scaly Pete. What a cool guy. Anyway. He's a bad guy. Yeah, he's still cool, though. He's not cool. News. We've got some news for you, our fine listeners and watchers and Braille people who are just filling our faces all up and down the screen. Sicko. Um, so, we were supposed to get a whole bunch of PlayStation 5 news today. Unfortunately, that got suspended indefinitely for reasons that we are completely and 100% behind and completely Absolutely. in 100% agree with and good luck to everyone out there trying to fight for equality um so what i figured instead of going over the games and whatnot they were going to release uh i thought we'd go over some of the things that playstation 5 has announced thus far so first up off the boat uh, the, boat. the boat. <laughs> the, ring, I think. the PlayStation the 5 is going to be 100 times faster than the PlayStation 4. I didn't know this, and I'm like, that's 100 times faster. 100 times that's faster. correct. That, that is exactly what it yeah, is. Yeah, that, that's so much faster. So that means it's a big like, difference. That means the saying takes. Oh, I can't even. Remember, I can't even do the maths. Did you see the? Uh, was they, it the loading had they done screen comparisons? for Spider Man? Yep. Yeah, that leaked footage from a. Yeah, from Asia, and it was like ridiculous. Yeah, it was pretty fast, wasn't it? Um, there has been a leaked launch list from PlayStation Magazine scans. Now, this is an official PlayStation Magazine, which is supposed to come out. Uh, and they leaked the, uh, I think it wasn't launch day launch. It was launch window. So we got into 2021. Uh, so the list itself is, uh, some are saying rather lackluster, uh, which is to be expected. They're not going to come out and list all their games in a play. Oh, it's PlayStation. They might. Um, no, so uh, good, I reckon. you can check out the list. We've got it on our Facebook page. You can scroll down and look at it there. Uh, PlayStation 5 games won't work on the PlayStation 4. And this is, uh, I found this quote from Jim Ryan, which is really, really good. Jim Ryan is? Uh, he is the uh, CEO of Sony Entertainment, uh, Sony, what does SIE stand for? Sony Interactive Entertainment. Entertainment. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so Jim Ryan, uh, he says, quote, we believe in generations. It's time to give the community something new. We believe that when you go to all the trouble of creating a next-gen console, that it should include features and benefits that the previous generation does not include. And that, in our view, people should make games that can make the most of these new features. Well done. Well I, done. I, I think we've spoken about this previously, but I'm 100% behind this. I agree with it. Uh, yeah. 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 The, new, the, new, the new console, the new generation should come out, and it should be, wow you. It should You shouldn't go, oh, I could just... This game can... I, I'm not in agreement with these games. That, I mean, they're doing it, though. I mean, Cyberpunk is going to play on both of them. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Last of Us. But I, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. But I, I really want them to just to make core games that are for um, the new console coming out. And I know why they're not doing that. It's because, you, you know, as a, as a game creator, 
you don't want to like make a game where there's only like you know in your first week of it coming out only a small population have the console and compared to the old console where everyone's got it so you're obviously going to make more money if it can go over both systems especially but, with the ps5 which has already said it's going to have a limited run in the first exactly six months but that's why i think um playstation um uh content as in like their own games they should be the ones that take that hit they should be like we the, no, we're going to make games just for the next console coming out and that's what that makes sense like they are the ones that, that have to pave the path forward for the new people for the new other developers to go see go oh my god look what we could do like they, they take the hit of like not being able to sell as many because there's not as many as that console out but it's their console they want to prove to the other developers that they have this beast of a thing that they can go wild with um and yeah i agree with this because like as a consumer i don't want to buy a new console and then to play the games on it that i could have played on the one that i already had anyway yep like i want to make i want to be i want it to make the most of the console that i forked out a buck ton of money for well i mean i want to bring this up later when we talk about and compare the two next gen consoles yeah, we can't get into it too deep oh, what no i, I, I will just say that i was really struggling as to which console i was going to get at launch because i'd heard all this information about the series x and knew okay that's a pretty good console and i know i'm going to have games that i'll be able to play on it uh and then the ps5 which i just didn't hear anything about um I decided I had the opportunity to buy a, a, a Xbox uh, One S for a very good, reasonable price, and I figured, well, it's they've, Xbox has already said it's going to be a year before they have any uh, Xbox Series X exclusive games on that console, and up until then, yeah, it's just going to be the cross generation. So I thought, well, if I can play it on any console, and there's not going to be any Series X exclusive, why do I need to get a Series X? At exactly. Launch? And if you're a stickler for graphics, you can get a PC and just play them on it because PC Game Pass. Yeah, yeah I thought that was a really weird point for Move. them to come out like, look at this cool thing, and there will, there will be nothing that we can play on this that you can't I play on the other. I feel like they severely hindered what their sales projections could have been like with that one comment. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a weird thing to say. But, anyway, but, but gonna... we might be wrong because we, we we've talked about this before about the the. The uh, the u uh, active users versus console sales and, and stuff like that that maybe they're going for the active users. Oh, I think that's more. very much what they're going uh, for. And maybe this is just the hit there. Like we're talking about hits. This is the hit they're taking at, at the start. That maybe they're putting a hundred all their eggs in the in the active user basket. Well, well yeah. just remind me when we get to it in the tots. Just yeah, just remind yeah. me. I have something I wanted to ask you. Okay. I've forgotten it already. At what point? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there was a state of play. Last of Us 2. We had the last state of play before it comes out next week. A week and a half. Anyway, I, before next show. I didn't watch it because I want to play it. No. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. Well, you good thing it's away. not on the Hang screen on, it, now. The bit that I can talk about. The bit that's happening on here is this. I want to see. The, is this the Vita bit? This is yeah. the Vita bit. Uh, this is the bit I do want to see. Oh, wait. This, this video... Has got but he, he, the person playing keeps pausing it and talking about it. Oh, oh good. great work, Dan. <laughs> anyway, here it is. Um, oh, so it's Vita. Jim Ryan confirmed that there this will is. run on the yeah. PS5 without a problem. Uh, the game looks beautiful. What do you think, Braden? You you watched the whole thing with me. This whole thing. So I tell you what, as someone who loves Naughty Dog and wants to support them, I'm going back and playing Last of Us right now at the moment. You can hear my thoughts about that nostalgia. My God, this game looks scary <laughs> and vicious as hell. Yeah, like. As someone yeah. who, like, it gets very jumpy and, like, has anxiety, <laughs> like, when she is sneaking around, like, trying to survive with Brayden, people hunting her. I don't suffer from anxiety or get jumpy, and even I was anxious watching this, just going, ah. This is next level. Yeah. And, like, the fact that, like, the differences with this boring. video is amazing, Dan. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, one ben, there's one Ben link me to. This, <laughs> so realize. straight up. The adaptions that they've done where Joel was a bit bigger and heavier and couldn't sort of do and move as much. The, the stuff they've added where she can jump and she can go prone and she can do all this stuff. It's it's the exact adaptation of their original gameplay that they needed. Because everything else is kind of the same. Mm. Mm. It's building on the foundation they already had, which is what a good sequel should do. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I like that uh, Naughty Dog have come out and said, yeah, it's called Part 2 for a reason. Like it, it's not a sequel; it's a continuation, a continuation of, the of the story. Yeah. So they obviously had plans that this was our oh, poor oh, dog. You burn a dog. Uh, it, they already had a, a, a video. Plan. Did you put on here? This was the official footage, dude. She goes real dude, brutal. This game ain't PG. No, this is like Ellie's a hard ass. Like she, she will mess you up. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I was very impressed with it. I know you guys haven't seen much of it. I'll uh, be interested to see. Are you guys getting it at launch? Yeah, I'll get it at launch. Sweet. So you'll do our review? I'll get it at launch. Good. 
Good. Ooh. Good. I'll probably get it as well. Awesome. And I'll play it like in about four years' time. <laughs> All right, speaking of four years' time, next topic has nothing to do with it. Uh, Resident Evil 8 is rumoured to be releasing January 2021 <laughs> under the name of Village. Uh, it will deal with a rural European village and its cults, uh, which made me think, is it like Resident Evil 4? So is the name Village the rumour? That's like, the rumour. So that's not going to work. Because I found a graphic of someone, like, if you just click next, Braden. Uh, oh, oh, is yes, that the 8, yeah. the V and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll like... You don't, have to do st- you don't have to do trailers in the small one anymore, Braden. We're, yeah, we're, we're, not, we're, we're not doing that anymore. We're already okay. banned from YouTube. Who yeah. cares about copyright? So, yeah, so I, I found that you can double click on it if you want to zoom in. I, f- I found this. <laughs> no. this uh, yeah, so this isn't official then. No, no, not at all. Uh, it's just a rumor at this and point. So the, v, really, the really V-I-L-L fake. making up the village part of, as in eight yeah. in so Roman they, numerals. If they do this, do you think they might do this instead of rebuilding um, four? Yeah, I reckon there's no point in redoing four because like it's up to the point now where it's not gonna um, have it's much too new still. Yeah, it's too new, and all the things that made Resident Evil too great are kind of bits and bobbed into that. The only thing mm. you can really do with four is re up the graphics, yeah, and then just tweak the gameplay a bit. And I don't think that's Controls. enough for people to care about. If you know what I mean, mm. coming out. Therefore, I think they've moved on to eight, which is kind of the spiritual new floor yeah, if you know floor. what i mean it's a, it's a very similar from the rumors that we've heard it's, it looks like it yeah. it yeah. looks like yeah that eight will be the you know leon out in the world and if it's just like a re redone for it's oh, it'll it's still leon. be fine it'll still be fine be yeah, cool it will be uh so capcom are also looking to celebrate their 25th year anniversary of resident evil in march 2021 with new merch um, so this for me sort of, uh, jinxed the rumor a little bit, because if you were going to celebrate the 25th anniversary, wouldn't you bring the game out closer to that anniversary? I know January and March is only three months between them, but I don't know. It, it just seems that saying January, 2021 is a bit of a placeholder. Yeah. Yeah. True. I, um, I don't know anything about this. Cool. Other things that you might not know much about, it, Dan, is Pokemon. That's 100% true. Pokemons. The Pokemans, the Pokemon DLC. They had a new trailer come out of Japan, uh, revealing that the DLC, the first part of the DLC, will be out on June 17th. Uh, it's the Isle of Armor. You gain access to a brand new area, which is more of a, a beach, tropical setting. Uh, new Pokemon will be there, as well as returning Pokemon from the National Dex. Uh, there will be new Galar regionals, uh, such as the legendary birds. We'll have all Galarian forms, and it takes place. Uh, sorry, it takes the place instead of a third game in the series. So Pokemon, of course, uh, used to bring you out, say, red, blue, and then you got yellow. What's uh, a Galarian? Year, Galarian Galar is the region where this game. Galar, because uh, there was that old the PlayStation game Galarians, and I thought it might have. Yeah, yeah, it. they're linked together. No, they're not. It's the same world. <laughs> What is that thing? That's a that's a backpack that you put stuff in. Okay, and it fuses so things together. With the old third game that they used to do, was that similar to what they would have done with DLC? Was it the same story? But I don't, I don't, I don't it's know basically what... the same game with little tweaks and maybe a little uh, fifteen minute extra bit. That's really that's really quite rude, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. So I know. Driving, and then man. people are fans. I'm using quotation marks. Fans are upset that they're not getting a third version of Sword and Shield instead of DLC. Like Just... the DLC is a whole new area and game and it's not good enough for if you're that Pokemon upset, fans. Just go to Nintendo, drop your money at their doorstep and leave. You'll be fine. Yeah. It's all just the same mail it to them. Just mail it to them. If you're that desperate to get rid of your anyway, money. Anyway, June seventeenth, so you can pre order that now if you you know been playing Pokemon, if you go to the main area, there's a nice little <laughs> like they've included yeah, a, a thing down in the, the menu. menu. Why don't you buy the DLC? Yeah, buy the DLC. Just click here. Mum and dad won't mind. Just get their credit card. Buy it's fine. The DLC. Uh, this is my Hyrule Rabbit, is what I like to call him. Uh, something we found just before as we were strolling the internet before we needed to come on air instead of, you know, preparing a show, can you tell, uh, is a brand new short that was released today with Scraggy and Mimikyu. Um, it's done in the style of like a 1930s uh, Hanna Barbera, oh, not Hanna Barbera, yeah, Hanna Barbera. Looney Tunes. Looney, Looney Tunes, Tunes, just yeah. 1930s in general. Like early Disney. Yeah, just skip ahead a bit, Braden, so the people watching over on youtube.com backslash hack the dino can see what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, I know how you do that. It is a Scraggy in the very, like, think Cuphead, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about. That kind of animation style. It's an official release. It's a cute little short. It goes for about four minutes. It's called Pokey Tune, I think. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's just beautiful. And I love it when companies do little things like this. You know, they, they don't need to get anything out of it besides 
people like us reporting about it on the internet. I'd just watch this for the... This looks great. I could watch it now. No, we, we can't because we'll get flagged. We'll, actually, we'll, we'll show it a little bit. <laughs> it's a great time for this because over since H- HBO Max released, uh, the Looney Tunes cartoons on there are some of the most streamed things. Yeah, because they're really? fantastic. Yeah. And not very PC, but hey. What yeah, not racist at all. Not all of them. <laughs> you know what else isn't racist? <laughs> uh, these, these the guys. Nintendo Entertainment System. That, that's not. <laughs> that's grey. See? Oh, anyway, there was a lost NES game found by the uh, Video Game uh, History Fund. Video Game History Foundation found it. Uh, A never-before-released game from the Nintendo Entertainment System has been found by the Video Game History Foundation. They made the discovery after sifting through materials donated by the family of programmer-slash-designer Chris Oberth, who passed, passed away in 2012. Uh, This game, as you can see here, would have been based on Days of Thunder, but the project was seemingly cancelled and a tie-in game was instead released from developer Beam Software. Obreth's version of the game was found spread across 21 floppy disks. Yeah, I love that. And has been reconstructed to fully functioning form. It looks so crisp in this day and age. I haven't seen it. It it looks like a vector game because it's obviously been played on something that can really, like, crisp up like, yeah. it's not a, it's not on a CR, crt tv it's just this like, i just love stuff like this like they've just come across a whole game just sitting there they uh they came across a <laughs> uh spider-man game on a like a dev spider-man 3 game oh, that was uh, on the wii year, yeah, yeah like yes, just finding yeah. these little things yeah. that uh they come in and, and preserve it. and the video game history foundation is fantastic yeah brad there was another one that someone just found i'm i've been catching up on games daily over mm-hmm. kind of funny and I just saw um, the Prince of Persia video that's existed on YouTube for eight years. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And that looked great. It looked great. That looked like a great game. So, yeah, for, for, a, bit of con- for a bit of context, someone found there was an unreleased Prince of Persia game footage up, and it's been on YouTube for eight years, How and old? no one noticed the footage until now. How old was the game? Like, when was this thing made? Like, it was made for the Wii, I think. Oh. oh, well, it was developed yeah. for a bit. It was a pitch, pitch document. It was like early PS3, I think. <laughs> Look at this bit. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it looks like Micro Machine. Uh, anyway, they are planning on releasing a physical copy of this for $70 oh, US with all, with all proceeds going to Oberth's Widow. Okay. Because they're a non-for-profit. So they, yeah, willing to put it into production, obviously recoup their costs, and all the profits will go to the widow of the gentleman who designed this game. So are they putting it onto like a NES car? Yes, yes. That's cool. um, but they're also releasing the source code online as well. So Video Game History Foundation, you should throw some bucks their way because they're fantastic Yeah, people. that's some cool stuff. Speaking of cool stuff, do you know what else is cool? The this old guy. Star Wars. No, you, no, you're wearing a vest. No. Uh, Star Wars. We all like a Star War. I like the space battles. Especially the people at a place that we don't know of because they're going to be revealing Project Maverick soon. For those of you who don't know, prov- <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> is that Tyler Durden's been in here and just like putting frames of stuff in there? Uh, so yeah, pro- Project, Mar- uh, Project Maverick is a undisclosed game that's the working title of a new Star Wars game that EA is bringing out. No one knows what it is. They're talking about it might be revealed soon. Uh, Rumours are that it's a dogfight game, like your old X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. It sounds like it. I I mean, something very small, uh, and you're in the cockpit just flying around. Because I'm pretty sure it won't be called Project Maverick when it comes out, but they're calling it that because it's a fighting game, and, you know, uh, Top Gun, the guy's name was Maverick, and it's a playing game, and I think that's just there. What's the Star Wars called? Blue something? Blue Harvest. Blue, Blue Harvest. Harvest. It's yeah. their Blue Harvest. Blue yeah. Waffle. I hope they do some. I hope they make it available in VR. Well, I mean, you can. Is it Battlefront One? You can have a VR. Yeah, you just, it's a VR mission. Yeah, but you're in the cockpit of the X Fighter. Of an X Wing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. X Fighter. X Wing. Fake fan. Anyway, uh, what do we want to see battles. in uh, smaller Star Wars games? I got thinking about that, and I thought, you know, it'd be really, really cool. I want to see a bounty hunter game like GTA, but in the Star Wars universe, where like you take jobs and you go on, uh, like basically the Mandalorian. So you can be like any of the bounty hunters. Like you can be like Bosch. Bosch. You can be IGA Bosch? Eight. Yep. You What's can be Bosch. Name? Bosch. Yep. <laughs> Do you want it to be you create a? Custom character, and no. then no, and then they exist, and you meet up with them, and you do. Team no, see, I always thought that stuff. was lame. I always thought, oh, create your custom character and interact with all the stars. Yeah, yeah. I want to be that, those when, fit. like those Naruto fighting games where you make your own ninja. I'm like they're just elements of all the other characters. Like yep. if you wanted to, you could just make the character. If they do it like GTA Five, you swap between Bosk, IG88, yep. Dengar. Yep. Yeah, oh, is yep. he the one with the? He's the one with the thingy wrapped around his he's head. The yeah. Mummy. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. yeah uh, so yeah, that's what I want. A GTA and like if you don't complete your missions in enough time or you dilly daddy, the bounty hunters come after you and then you have to run away from I them. So you got your friends hinting and hunting. I want to see a Java simulator where you just roam the deserts and yeah. pick up garbage and then sell it to people. Fair enough. Dan, what do you want? Um, I want like an exterminator kind of game. Like you play a bunch of dudes that have come in and you get hired and they're like, hey, uh, there's a whole bunch of, you know, this creature in our like place. Can you go in and like, wipe them out? Wasn't so that a side mission in Final Fantasy VII Remake? Not like that kind of extermination. I mean, something the way you get the... You just want to play Final Fantasy again. No, I just want to fight... Big... You just want to play the side quests of Final Fantasy again. Not really, no. Good textures. Um, I just want to play, like... Uh, I love all the monsters in the Star Wars universe, and I never think in these games they get enough... Credit. There's never enough monsters in them. Oh, I, I mean, you fight some monsters and that, but I want to have it like, you know... A, it's kind of like a dungeon crawler where you go in, you, you, you know, uh, we've, got a, we've got a whole... Uh, an infestation of boar jorches. Board? I just made that Boy up. Georges. Boy yeah. Georges. <laughs> oh, God. Get those Boy Georges out of here. And you go Wankles? in and then at the end you have to fight the big Boy boy George at the end. <laughs> big Boy George. Come out giant. Uh, you know, and you play just like a dude. Like with a, a person that's living in the Star Wars universe. He doesn't have to be a, a, a hero or anything. He works for a company. And I, just, I just reckon I really like that. Just seeing all the different monsters. You know, this is a level where you fight the snake things. And yeah. But you know what he can do? Ewok crossing. He can <laughs> put in the chat. <laughs> Bless the rains. <laughs> what? What? Down in Africa? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, Brad. I also came up with one just quickly because I love Star Wars and yep. I came up with a really dumb one. Go for it. Uh, you know that game Coffee Talk that just I, yep. came out? Yeah. Okay. I want Cantina Talk. Yes. Ooh. Sign me up. Hell yes. So it's just a bunch of weird Star Wars people rocking up. And you can't understand what they're saying because they're talking <laughs> to you in their language. You just, what? What? And they chop your arm off. Whoa! You'll be dead! What about Singstar with the Cantina the band? The Cantina band. Do, 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 no. I'm Han Solo. Or the, what was I'm that Han remake Solo. when they did it and they CG'd the new band in there and had a whole <laughs> Max Rebo Size band. noodles. Sly noodles? Size God, noodles. we're nerds. Max Rebo. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> we have a video game talk show that no one to. No, but we're I'm Star heaps Wars about being nerds. nerds. Yeah, I'm no, cool. we're not. We like the thing, so we can't be nerds. <laughs> yeah, we like Star Wars. Yeah, we're, we're not fans. Yeah, we're Star Wars geeks, man. No, we Geek chic. Do you know what I like? Do you know what I really like? Do you know what I really love? Coffee. Deals! That, no, we're, no, 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 no. We're not up to deals. Aren't we? No. We've got, Sega, we've got heaps of stuff to go. Oh, do we? Got a, got a whole other. <laughs> well, I, know, I wasn't saying it's time to go in there. I'm we've just got, saying I really got... like deals and I can't wait for that segment. <laughs> All right, fair enough. We've got, the, we've got the important thing that's happening today. It is the Sega's 60th anniversary. And I'm, I myself am the Sega guy of this show. Ben's the Nintendo one. Floppy something. Brayden is PlayStation. He's um, all right. What are you? Your Xbox by default. Oh! <laughs> Look at him. Like a Sony a... pony from you, way you back. You here first, folks. Floppy, if you don't like any of your Xbox stuff, send it over to Floppy. He'll you know, pay you good money for it. All your Xbox. Out, uh, go back, to normal, go back that. to normal screen. We'll get, we'll get to this, uh, Brayden. Um, so it is the 60, Sega's 60th anniversary this week. Not know. not Xboxes, though. When no. that's, we'll, we'll go to our resident Xbox expert. Ex expert. <laughs> Xbox expert, Floppy. Floppy expert. I can't even get one working, <laughs> Eric. Expert X. That's his name from now on. Expert. Shit. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's what the S stands for. So it is Sega's 60th anniversary, and I am uh, the Sega guy, so I've set up a little bit, bunch of my Sega stuff here. Um, the, the whole campaign Where's they're the doing... Xbox stuff, Floppy? Why don't you bring I'm trying to do a talk. <laughs> um, the whole campaign is called Go Sega, which... Um, no, fine. it's 60 Sega. That's Go Sega, no, isn't it? it's 60 Sega because it's their 60th anniversary. Oh, is it 60 Sega? Fake fan. Have I read it, have I it wrong the whole band. time? I don't know. Go. Can we bring <laughs> up a graphic, Brayden? <laughs> bring up, I'm bringing something up. Bring up a graphic of the logo of uh, Sega. I think it's Go. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's 60. Not, it's 60. Because when I was looking at all the merch Wait, uh, and uh, showing you, I thought, Dan's going to think that's like Pokemon Go, and he's going to say something. No, I never even thought of that. Anyhow, um, so they've got this new merch out. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff that I want. There's like a sake bottle. There is a thing. But It's a brand new mobile game called Sega What have you Sega got there, Brayden? It's just the Sega logo. No, I want the Go Sega. Okay, okay. Right, Go, go Sega. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new Pokemon, isn't it? Just write Sega 60. All right, I'm on and that I'll website. Call. Anyhow, um... Well, I, I'm going to have to wait for Brain to do this now. No, uh, there's a whole way for it. There you go. Look, it is Go Sega. Look, Go, G O. No, that's 60. That's not. That's how you write 60 in. It is Go places. Sega. It, I mean, in it... the middle of the screen, it says Go Sega. No, 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 no. And... no, no. That's 60. <laughs> 
You're wrong, Ben. No, I'm not. Look at it up in the top left-hand corner. Yeah, it's go. Look at the word. It's, like, it's what's 60, the website called? 60 Seager. I thought it was 62. It's go Seager. No, it's 60. Is it 60? Shit. It's go Seager. It's clearly go, but I love that you doubted yourself. <laughs> no, but look, but look at it. Maybe they are playing on that. And it we've is, never thought it, they that. are definitely playing on it. That's you know, exactly I what they're going for. You think it was 60? I thought it was No, 60. I honestly thought it was 60 yeah. as well. Yeah, oh, but I, cool. thought, I thought you were taking the piss. I'm like, shit, am I the only one that actually thought it was 60? See, this is how meta I am. I just mess with everyone's heads. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so they have been doing all this stuff this week. Seagate's finally become relevant for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and they have uh, they released as, uh, it is go. Um, bring up the video now, Braden. Okay. <laughs> Finally, uh, we, I know, we blew our load a bit earlier before, and we've sort of shown it, but we're gonna, they released the, um, as you can see here, the Game Gear Micro. Now, at, at first... This isn't the Micro. This is the actual size one. That's the normal yeah, Game Gear That's there. the normal one that you can actually At play. first, I thought this was a joke. So I did couldn't, I. I couldn't believe it. I, I had this sent to me uh, over our Discord by someone, and I just went... Is this <laughs> a, <laughs> Good joke, yeah. Is this a rib? Like, I honestly thought, it, and they went, no, nah, here's the link. And it linked me to this video. And I went, yeah, and what it, the it, hell? it is a tiny game gear. It Dumbest is about, thing ever. Um, a, it's, uh, it comes in four colors. It actually comes well, in five, five colors. If you pre order it in Japan, you can get the five pack of them, which comes with the smoke one. Um, we don't have a picture of that. I should have brought that in. As in the clear one that they bought no, out. And it also comes with... There should be one in the run sheet. It comes with a tiny version of the screen larger that you clip on there to make the screen bigger. Which yep. you obviously need. But that, yeah, it's only if you buy the bundle of five. Yeah, it's only if you buy... But you can get the bundle of four, but you can also get the pre-order bundle of five. Now, so this is the bundle of four that we got there. They don't have the games in them, <laughs> like that. Um... <laughs> Smoke one doesn't have games, but oh yeah, so it's it's just a it's just a talking piece. Apparently they're gonna be around about eighty bucks each. Yep. Um which means I'll probably just get one. Uh because if I can't have them all in a case, I don't want any of them. Why are you yeah. getting one? Well, I mean it's gonna be about three hundred and eighty dollars. Well we don't even know if they're gonna be released in they haven't even announced whether they're gonna be released. It doesn't matter. The old mini Famicom from Nintendo wasn't released here, but I got one. That is true, that is true. But uh, there are a lot of um pre order you know, um, limited amount exclusive versions of, especially the smoke one. And I know the smoke one will be up on, you know, like eBay. For the eBay. Can you look up smoke one, Brandon, from sure, the smoke pack? Find it. I don't know it's if I've the, missed... It's called the, like, the four deluxe pack with smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've missed something, but why didn't, why have they done a mini thing? Why have they just not done a normal size one and like jammed all the games on there? Because it's not about that. It's for collectors and nostalgia. It's, um, I reckon to tell you the truth, I reckon it's them poking fun at Nintendo. I know they shouldn't, and and, like, and that, but but you you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm going, look, we've got a mini thing as well. <laughs> it's useless. Uh, <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. We're gonna have a little run, and Nintendo just go, sorry, what? Yeah, it's no, just yeah. Money. Um, money. The problem with it, it is, it is, it is just for people like me. So you collect this. It's not going to appeal to many people. Um, if you know what I mean. Like, if it was bigger and had more games, there it is. So there's the I'd there's the it. smoke one and the smoke pack. You can get them, and I really want that pack. It comes framed. You put it on your wall, like... See, that I'd be interested in. Yeah, exactly. If it was Nintendo. How oh, so tiny Nintendos? Oh, yeah. With, so you only, get, Game Boys, you only get four games on each. I'm not going to go through what ones are on each one. Basically, one of them is uh, the Sonics. One's got Puyo Puyo. One's got uh, some RPG that's really popular. It's, there's a bunch of them have RPGs. Yeah. But I figured as well, if they do come out here locally, they'll have different games on them. I reckon. Uh, no. Because a lot of them are like... like there's, one of them has two RPGs on it, and they're the same game. It's number one and two. I might spread them across, mate. Spread the love. So yeah, out. you get one of them and get Getting all Sonic on, games. So the fact, yeah. So the fact that there's only four games on each one makes me think that they're not like they're they're just for collectors. Like no one's going to actually play them. You're not going to take it on the bus. <laughs> it's like a one inch screen. Like that's ridiculous. Diagonal. Like why? Yeah, ridiculous. How big that is. Um, but yeah, the idea of it. If I feel that if they're forty bucks, sure. But $80, that's as much as a real game. Um, that's I don't know. Much. But we'll, we'll have a look. What else? Does it have the TV tuner? Do you know what? That would be amazing if they made a tiny TV tuner. I got a TV tuner. Look. Just walking out of shot again. Should have put this so in there. Pro. Boxed TV tuner for the Game Gear. Use it on your little mini one. I'll use it my tiny one. Anyway, that's enough about a defunct company that no one cares about. Deals? It's true. People love it. Bloody. We got some cool deals for you. 
today. Uh, what do we got on PlayStation? <laughs> is that your new? Is that your new intro? Oh, I, I'm going to say the amount of thought I put into that was embarrassingly small. Mm. Uh, I, I hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's about, that was an easy picking. I hear that too. Low hanging fruit. Yep, all of them. They're, they're all. What, what logo am I in front of? PlayStation. You got Xbox, Ben. <laughs> Maybe you're a floppy should oh, Xbox. Thank God, no. <laughs> Fog sounds dope. Uh, yeah, right, no, what we, what have we got on, this stock what we got on PlayStation this week? What? We got some cool stuff on PlayStation. Uh, down from twenty four ninety five, so half price down to twelve dollars forty seven. Yakuza Kiwami. If you want to run around, do some brawling, beat some people up in a cool little GTA style town. In... If you like eighty minute cutscenes in the same game <laughs> yeah. over and over again over the part, course of what seven eight games. Pick up Yakuza Kiwami or go to Xbox and get it on Games Pass for it's free. It's Sega. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. Do some mini games. Play some arcade games. Sega. It's awesome. Sega 60. Look at that. You can dance like that. 60 go. Kazuma. Uh, also, also, uh, from thirty nine ninety five down to like $7.99, which is a sick bargain. Need for Speed Payback. If you want to be a Vin Diesel sick style bargain. ripoff. Bad game. And play some Fast and Furious game. It's probably better than the new one that's about to come out. <laughs> Straight Easy. to your PS3. <laughs> PS3? No, I that's just generous. Looked, it, it, it's yeah. Ooh, Two. What a rubbish Did game. Is that went... supposed to be out soon? Yeah. When? I think it got delayed. But yeah, it got delayed. Did you see that when I posted in the Discord that comment from the guy on YouTube on the trailer? And he's like, it's great to see that they're still supporting PS2. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, look, this one's not that bad. It's nowhere near as cool as the older Need for Speeds, but for one of the newer ones to just sort of do something different, have a bit of a story. It really cool. it, it was, really it looks cool. like it's riffing on Burnout. Yeah. Like, especially... Yeah, the fact that Burnout stopped making games and Need for Speed kept going, Need for Speed sort of went, we're going to take a little bit of that. Yeah, we'll take some of that. Um, the other another talk, another game. If you're talking about GTA things or things that led to GTA, uh, Shenmue, the Shenmue series, number three. Shenmue, yeah, Sega Dreamcast, number three from 179, 107.95 down to forty three dollars. Why was it Digi that Deluxe. much? It had everything in it. It was basically the full game, season pass, everything. But no one wanted this game. Be no one asked for this. Oh, look at that bit. Dug, dug, dug. That looks real. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> Shenmue one and two pretty much set the groundwork for what became GTA. It was GTA, but before anyone knew they wanted it. Really? Yeah, yeah. It did the whole open world, tons of little side missions you can go out. There was people that just lived their own lives without I, you being there. Or I only ever played the first one on the Dreamcast and it was a very, it was a life simula simulator. Yeah, like it was. you actually had to go to work Yeah. and work was boring Yeah. and you had to do it every day and you only got to solve your dad's murder after work in the time between yeah. work and bed. And I was like, are you kidding me? Why am I doing this? But no one knew they wanted that yet. And it didn't didn't take off. And then people made GTA. That was cool. Um, new on the Xbox, Games Pass. No, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. I think I added something there. Did you do? You did, sure. I sure did. Sorry about uh, that. I mean. One that I saw that I wanted to add in as well. The Disney Afternoon Collection is $7.55. These are the Nintendo <laughs> games that came out way back in the early 90s. DuckTales 1, DuckTales 2, Tailspin, Chippendale 1 and 2, and Darkwing Duck. These games are all freaking fantastic. I was playing DuckTales just the other week actually the remaster um it's so good uh yeah great great game so and you the, get them for like the, these versions have um say stay and they have rewind correct so i'm gonna you can buy that when i get home yeah you should because they're fantastic and so i've never played ducktales really no never had an such opportunity. a good game i always wanted to such a good game yeah, so seven dollars fifty five get but, it ducktales is the one with the pogo stick yeah one yeah um, we play uncle scrooge yeah <laughs> i mean um yeah, scrooge, is uncle that scrooge. yeah, yeah. yeah. that's him uh, over on the Xbox, Games Pass, we've got a couple of new games. One that's not out yet to be coming this month, I believe, is No Man's Sky. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, you haven't played No Man's Sky. Yeah, Dan, you put them in the wrong way around. No, I didn't. He did. Doesn't matter. Either or. Uh, yeah, look, sorry about that. I read that the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> no Man's Sky. So this is obviously one of those games that on launch suffered terribly, but it probably had one of the coolest comebacks, I'd say. They just keep chipping away. I haven't away. played Beyond yet. I bought this. I had this at launch. And was yeah. disappointed. I had it launch and I thought it was great. I was, I, it's what I wanted it to be, I've which played, is fine. I've but played, now it's so much more. I've played Beyond, um, and I, I have to say that seeing this trailer here, it's not this. It's not like this, eh? It's still <laughs> pretty sparse. There's not ships landing everywhere. There's not dudes riding on things past you, and like it's still. It's better, a lot better than it was. It's still battery sim, but it's not this 
populated, if oh, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. like the the worlds. I want to try it. Yes, Brayden? Yeah, this sort of footage that we're looking at here, that's like if you've got a group of friends together and you all hang out together like that. <laughs> in the same spot. That's what it'll look like. But no, we should do that for a string. Except now he's like a it. thousand million kilometers away from his friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, look, it's a yeah. cool game. It's a really cool concept. I love what they did. It suffered a lot on launch, though. But uh, it's on Game the, Pass. Pick it up. The it's idea of it, the science behind this game, this procedural generated universe, and it works, and it's all there, is phenomenal and good. I'm surprised more games haven't procedurally made themselves. Yeah. Like, how many planets are in this game? All of them. It's 18 quintillion. Yeah. It seems too many. I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, also on Xbox, Xbox Games Pass, which I should have said first, uh, it actually came out at the end of last month. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons. Now, I haven't played this yet, but... Oh, really? Put your hand up are... if you have played it. Uh, yeah, no. what was your game of the year, Floppy? It was going to be Minecraft Dungeons. Yeah, sorry sorry to disappoint you. No, it got points, mate. It got points. It got points. It got points. In a year where we're having Ghost of Tsushima, Cyberpunk, and Last of Us Part 2, yeah, Minecraft Dungeons was going to be game of the year. It's Minecraft, mate. <laughs> Play base. It's a great game, though. Um, See? Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't it's... have to be Minecraft, though. Like, no, I, no. I think it, it, it's a very simple dungeon crawler and it could be anything else. It doesn't have to be yeah, Minecraft it, at all. It's like, uh, it's Minecraft, like, it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like a, here's how to play a dungeon crawler for new people in a dungeon crawlers that are young. Diablo like, light. I, yeah. And then people will move on once they're a bit older, they'll move on to Diablo and all those other ones like that. But don't get me wrong. It's, it's a well thought out game. It's really balanced mm. and it's quite fun by yourself. I have yet to play it with someone, but I want to play it with Ben. We'll probably do a stream on and floppy. Um, I, I reckon it'll be. That. Yeah, you want to be in it as well. Yeah, like a, a, in a four-player team, this would be hilarious. Yeah, like mm. it would be. It would be funny. Like there's so many good things that could go wrong in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm keen. I'm gonna get my Xbox working so that I can get this. I want to play it. Speaking yeah. of playing things, Switch. Switch. What do we got there? Uh, we got a couple of really cool things on Switch. Uh, Resi Evil Four. Ooh. Yeah. So we're just talking about Resi Evil Four. Uh, Resi Evil Four. One of the would they say highly, most highly regarded of the Resident Evils? Yeah, I think it's one of the best. It's the one that people like one of, the, one of those ones that sort of changed things up and dared to do things different. It was really cool. Uh, good from story. From 40 bucks down to 20 bucks, so half price. That's a really good deal. Uh, definitely worth 20 bucks. All the Resident Evils are yeah. on Switch at the moment. Just don't worry about five and six. Yeah. Because yeah, so This Evil. was the first Resident Evil that took it away from zombies and really led it towards kind of what Resident Evil 7 was doing. Yeah. Like. Had the third person. Experiments. And... Yeah, yeah. Like, as in the idea of, like, they're not zombies anymore. It's just the idea that these villagers have been stuffed up by Umbrella and they're, like, they're kind of immortal slash whatever. And But yeah. still tied into Umbrella and still carried in that storyline, which I think is really awesome that all of the Resident Evils have still carried that storyline uh, all the um, way through. Umbrella is, is like, the best, com the best bad company in the world. Yeah. They, they're always run by the most hilarious dudes. Like, <laughs> what, West, Wesker? People. Like, how Wesker, do you yeah. run Umbrella, that corporation? <laughs> like, like it does everything. Like, they, they make everything in the world from, like, you know, in the game. Like, pharmaceuticals to, to, like, this and that. Yeah, it's run by a dude in sunglasses who's obsessed with being a monster. Yeah. <laughs> like, but they're really good at, like, stock markets. <laughs> like, <laughs> they nailed their graphic design work as well. That logo is so recognizable. So, have you seen that um, thing with that? Actual pharmaceutical. No, company. we're not going into that. Continue. Oh, uh, what? Cool. Uh, what do I have now? Monster, Monster Boy. Boy. Monster Boy's come down from uh, 60 bucks down to 26 bucks. Another really cool deal. I believe Dan's actually played this. He's a fan. Uh, I'm about 40 hours in. <laughs> <laughs> so a little and bit. And I gave up. It were, it, this, so this game is a massive homage towards uh, Wonder Boy and in, in Monster Land. Which is on um, part of the massive digital sale on Switch at the moment. It's like yeah. 1,100 games are on sale, sale at the moment. That's, now, is this the one crazy. that you can switch between old graphics and new graphics? No. no. That's oh. the remake of Wonder Boy um, in, in uh, 3, The Dragon's Trap. Okay. So in this, like, you'll go to a church and there'll be stained glass windows and it'll have the green-haired Wonder Boy from Wonder Boy. Yeah. It has them all in there. So it's a massive homage to it. It's actually, I think, the other Wonder Boys are in it at some stage. The problem with this game is it gets... It knows who's playing it, like people like me. It gets so hard that I, I got to a point where it was so hard. I finally got through it after like a week of playing <laughs> one level, right? And then it's just like, it's not even near the end. And then it just got, after it's like, and here's some harder levels. And I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm out. Good. And this was like 40 hours in I was. And I just went, nah, I'm out. Um, It is a great game, but it, it's, it just got too hard. I was just like, yeah, nah, you can just like, screw you. If you want something a little bit easier... A little bit cheaper. 
Uh, ben actually... <laughs> a little bit cheaper? A little bit cheaper. So Ben actually sent me a message saying, you got to check this game out on Switch because it's your kind of thing. Uh, he told me it was $1.50. I went on to buy it. It was even cheaper. Uh, you can get Mech Rage from $15. It's gone on sale now for $0.75. Cents. <laughs> Now, this thing is awesome. It's based on a spaceship where you, you work on this spaceship um, as part of, a, I'm assuming, crew of mech pilots. Um, and aliens have got on the spaceship, right? And you have to defend it. And it's a top-down shooter. You know, left stick does move, right stick does turn, and shoot. You got Twin primary. stick shooter. Yeah. Um, it is awesome. It is so much fun. And it is 75 cents. It's it's like, uh, it looks like Smash TV. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very, very much from my It's a little bit I, like... I want them to marry It looks that. like... The mech looks like ED209 from Robocop. Total Carnage, what it's called. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. It really does. It is so much fun. It is, you know, you should go through, you shoot your bad guys, you go find a key to a blue door, and it's basic. But it is, yeah, 75 cents. Everyone should be getting this for 75 cents. Yeah, it is I awesome. agree. I agree. So check out the Switch sales as well. There's a lot of really, really cool games on there. I think uh, Snakey Bus is on there at the moment for really cheap. <laughs> a lot of the um, remastered uh, Sega titles that are on there, like uh, Wonder Boy, uh, Alex Kidd, they're all on there for very, very cheap. So, um, yeah. Check it out. A lot of bargains to have. Uh, Dan, do you want to thank some Patreons? Yeah, I'll thank some Patreons. So, Patreons. Hi, Patreons. Hello. So, we, um, we every show we thank our producer-level Patreon. So, thank you to Sam Beer. Thank you to Ashraf, who's in the chat. Thank you to Floppy, who's in the show. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Todd Randall. Thank you to Tommaso. Thank you to Mike Towns, who's in the chat. Thank you to Karen and Ash Knight, who were in the chat. They might still be there. And thank you to Dylan Stevens, who is in the chat. Thank you to Carl and Bud, who may be in the chat. He's there. Um, thank you very much. You are our producer-level Patreons. Uh, you are the one. Give me a close-up, Braden. Uh, I can jump to that one second. Here yeah. you go. Dan. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so... Thank you very much for that. We can't do this without you. If you would like to support us over on Patreon, please go to patreon.com backslash hack the dino and um, support us with some cold hard cash. <laughs> we use it for stuff like buying new microphones, doing that, paying for Braden's haircuts and stuff like that. So <laughs> go over there. If you like what you see tonight and um, want to help us a little <laughs> bit more, we would love you to do that. It's not on there, Ben, anymore. Oh, I was being Pac-Man. Yeah. Oh. Anyhow, bring me back. Thank you very Bring much. Thank again. you very much, Patreons. We love you so much. We can't do this without you. If you don't want to um, support us over on Patreon, say you've got no money, that's fine. Go over to YouTube and check out our videos on demand. Or if you want to join the show live, go over to Twitch like you are now and support us there. Get in the chat. Start saying your piece. Um, we also do streaming on Sundays and stuff like that. So if you want me to actually talk back to you, go over <laughs> over there except for this sunday i'm going away for the first time in a million years so there will be no stream this sunday i apologize everyone but Literally i will be in the the luxurious Wollonga. <laughs> so go down there and chat to him yeah go down there hey, we'll have a, we'll have a <laughs> it's part. not that big a town you can yeah. probably find him after just, knocking on walk just in the go middle. into the middle and yell and i'll find hey, you hey dan <laughs> we'll have a party together um and that's it thank you very much patrons we love you so much you're beautiful Mwah. Dots, dots, dots. Pokemon! Yeah. Okay, topic of the show time. It's time for a PlayStation 5. Vive? Vive. Oh, the PlayStation 5. Was I the love best. the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 versus Series X update. Now, we did this a couple of months ago where we uh, looked at what has been announced and what's been released for the two next gen consoles and faced them off against each other in Mortal Kombat. The winner was Robocop. But we're going to do it what? again. <laughs> Uh, so Mortal Kombat. Oh, that was a perfect opportunity. I forgot we have a Mortal Kombat button. Oh, do it. Brayden. Do it now. Hang on, hang on. Will they face off in Mortal Kombat? Done. <laughs> I assume that worked. It worked. Uh, okay, so starting up. Name. How are we feeling? PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Who's winning that? PlayStation 5 wins without a doubt. Why? What? The name, as because in just what the thing's just, called. Just the marketability. Because you know what is it, it is. Brayden? Brayden? Sex sells. Oh, sex box. Sex box. So if you, we've mentioned this before. X box, one X, one X, sex box, box series X, sex box, series X, sex box sells, but sex box doesn't sell to parents who are buying it for their kids. Sex box sells, but Xbox doesn't. So there's your problem. 
No one wants an Xbox. That's why you leave them. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so I in, in, but, but I, I got ma, 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 I, I, no, no, without the jokes, the name. So PS4, five, yep. Xbox Series. So Xbox is the only one who's kind of like trying to say new because well like, they have to because otherwise they'd be one generation behind. I know. So they've always <laughs> done it with the, the, Xbox, the Xbox 360. The oh, X, you got the Xbox Three well, and the, the Xbox One. The problem with this is they painted themselves in a corner that now they can't really do a good. Like they should have just called their like their next like they should have caught up. Just they're call this one the it. Xbox Five. <laughs> like, no, they're they're Xbox now. Six. They have Xbox to they have six. to have a shit name every time now. That's going to be yeah. their thing. Um, and not to say I'm not, I'm not oh, I am a PlayStation fanboy, but I don't hate Xbox. Uh, by any stretch of any imagination, I've got an Xbox inside. Uh, I just like games, so I'm just going to put that out there straight away. I'm not a, a person who is racially charged against other consoles. Let's I will, not use that terminology today. Yeah, you're right. I will play an Xbox for exclusives. Uh, I'll watch the NBA on it. Um, but if I'm going to play a game that appears on both, I'll play it on PlayStation. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, so but, back to the original question. Who's got the best name? Who's got the best name? PS5. It's PS5? Sharp. It, you, you know what it is straight away. Yep. You know it's the fifth PlayStation. They've got that marketing behind them. Yeah, yep. it's, it's easy. Yep. Uh, if you friendly. had someone come into a shop and ask for a PS5 or a... Xbox series. Yeah. Uh, what Xbox X? What, what's the latest Think Xbox? Of the yeah, is, it, is, it an, yeah. is it an Xbox series X one X one S series X? Series yeah, exactly. I think PS Five's got it in the bag as well. It's, it's it. a natural continuation for the past twenty odd years. Yeah. It what do you have think? To be put, it in the, put it in the comments in the chat. Your okay. So we're gonna give that one to PlayStation. Are you scoring? I'm going to. So right. this is PlayStation here. Uh, backwards compatibility. PlayStation 5 games won't be able to be played on PlayStation 4, whereas Series X will. Who has it right? Now, this is where I was going to bring up that point that I had before, which I have honestly forgotten. I think... No, you were going to ask them look, something. Both of those things have merits. So the PlayStation side of it is they're not making games for an older console. They're making for a new one, so they want to use the power of the new console. That's cool. The Xbox one is they're making it so that they can still play games on the older one, for people that can't afford the new console, that's cool. That's what I was going to ask. Smart delivery. Yeah, the smart delivery. But um, do you think that we could be seeing Xbox sort of moving away from having a physical-based console? I maybe not that, this generation, maybe not next, next generation, generation but that. maybe... Go the, full Stadia? Yeah. Yeah, because that's worked out so well. <laughs> really well. Yeah, but like, I, I think Stadia is a great, great idea. It just hasn't been done at the right time. Yeah. That, I reckon that is what will happen. Oh, it's the Shenmue of consoles. It was a great idea. You Didn't work right. at the time. Yeah. No, just oh man, let me have one. It was no, really that was a really no, good one. No, it wasn't. Xbox. It was uh, good. <laughs> Brent. So it's kind of what you're suggesting Xbox moving towards is basically doing Games Pass, and then within Games Pass, you do new releases where you buy it. Exactly. So well, more like um what Dan was saying before in that uh a point that I was gonna bring up that I've forgotten because I got distracted <laughs> by something. Incredible. Uh but Dan was saying it before and I I agree with Dan when he made that comment. Oh, I was saying about um about the, the console user like, base. You want it you Yes, user base. That's that's what I meant. Yeah, the user base versus they're, um, they're not uh, after the console, console versus sales. user base. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're after because they're not they didn't release console sales of the Xbox One X for obvious so reasons. Because no one bought one unless you mean get it for really cheap. Uh, thanks, Chad. Uh, so you uh, you go and focus on something other metric, like oh yeah, at fifteen bucks a month, we've got uh, ten million people subscribed, uh, so we're earning a lot of money each month. Um, that might be the way that Microsoft goes in the future because they uh, have released it all on PCs now as well. So there's no reason why the PlayStation couldn't go do away with physical games, but still have like. X PlayStation Five games that you just have to like a Games Pass kind of thing where they a digital version a of digital it. version of it like and they can still get that user base then but still but not have backwards compatibility I well Xbox has already gone to the way you've got an Xbox without a disc drive in it haven't you so that's no clear. no I got no I, I was going to get an all digital one but I ended up getting um, oh Minecraft. I didn't know but they, the thing they've already tried they they've put they, they, you know they they've squeezed that pimple into the market. Um, <laughs> And so it didn't work, so they've probably gone. Okay, it's not working yet. Let's let, let's let's put they, this away. Let's bring this out a bit 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 further down the track once people are more engaged, like more used to the idea of games not being on a disc. Maybe we jumped too early on that one. I reckon they'll. I reckon I maybe not this Xbox. 
maybe the next one, yeah, there won't be like physical copies. So going back to the original um, thought, the backwards compatibility of it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, I, lo I love our tangents. The backwards compatibility, I think it's, I don't think it's a problem because I always want to move forward in my gaming. I, I, and I have enough games at any given time that I don't have time to go back and play old games. I never play any older games, hardly at all. I have a, you can see my shame pile from here, right, yeah. right under the monitor. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games sitting there that are ready for me to play Probably that I haven't got to yet and, and finished off. Like, I don't have time to go back and play. Some. I might, you know, one day, you know, when they do them every now and then, I might play them for like an hour or something. But like, I always want to move forward. I want to play the best thing. I want the best graphics. I want the best looking thing. I don't want to think that, oh, look, I want to get it when I get that new PlayStation Five. I want to play a game that no one on PlayStation Four can play unless they've got it. Because <laughs> I'm a See, I do enjoy going back and playing older games. Same. Um, so backwards compatibility, I do. Is important to you? I like it. I really do like it. I don't have to have it. Um, I think the way that Xbox have done it, I'd love to have uh, backwards compatibility, but the fact that they haven't got any Xbox One X. Um, releases, 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 exclusives. Uh, exclusives, I think is a mistake. That's crazy, so man. That, that to me is bad. Like you, you should have exclusives and you should have backwards compatibility, I think. Yep. It's crazy to think that they're not, they advertised that. I was like, what? Yeah, what? I didn't think that was a selling point. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have like even mentioned that. I just would have not bought them out. I think um, that's the sort of thing that you should hope that people don't notice. Notice, yeah, yeah. Right. So, like, Speaking of things you hope people don't notice, just to point out the naming convention fact even more, uh, Floppy, you called it 1X. Not Did Series I? X. There you go. Problem solved. Um, uh, shit name. We'll, we'll pass that one. Uh, <laughs> we can always... Likewise, we're, we're fluid. Like, we can go anyway. Well, we're not fluid because one of us has to keep the show on rails. Uh, so for me personally, the only reason <laughs> I like having backwards compatible or things like that... <laughs> Dragon Ball Dan. I didn't mean to do that. I, I I was looking at my hair in the TV, which is backwards, and I went to brush it the right way and I brushed it the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Go. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, so I'm a lazy man. I like downloading and just having everything there. So if my PlayStation 4 account and all the games I've got on there carries over the PlayStation 5, which I'm hoping will happen, like all the games I got from um, the network like thing. the digital stuff. Yeah, yeah, all the digital stuff. because PlayStation I like, Plus? Yeah, the only physical stuff I really buy is if it's really cheap or if it's uh, a retro thing. Um, so I like digital because I don't like pressing that button and getting confused as to which was the power off button and which one's the eject button on the PlayStation 4. Just push the right button. Well, it, it's hard. They're not labeled. I can never remember if it's the top or the bottom one. I, I do actually my... do that as well. Yeah, thank you, Braden. See, us young people, we're, we're confused easily. Young. Yeah. So you... Anyway, what was my point? I my point know. is that it doesn't worry me. Yeah, my point is... Oh, so my point is I don't care about back and compat compatibility. I just want the best games, the newest games. You want right the ability there. to be able to play any game you I want to be wowed as well. I want to, like, turn my PlayStation 5 on and see a thing that there's no way... Like this is a, a generation jump. I don't want to see something like, well, I could just, I could just play this. So thing. the tech demo we saw before, and we talked about last. Yeah, I want that in every the game. triangles. Yeah. yeah, the triangles. Oh, I want so many triangles all want, over your face. I want. Just... I don't want to. I don't want the amount of triangles <laughs> that I'm seeing to be able to fit into a PlayStation Four or an Xbox Sexy Box. Mm. I want um, I want so many. Um, sexy Box. I understand people do want backwards compatibility. It's a nice feature, but that's all it is. It's a feature. I think it's a feature, it's, not a benefit. It's not a buying point. It's not a reason why I'm going to go out and buy something. I, and, and and the thing is, I, the other day, I think I asked, it was you or, or Flubby, I was like, is my PlayStation 4 backwards compatible? I didn't even know because I've never even tried. And it's at the end of the generation. <laughs> uh, like, I didn't even have a clue. <laughs> we have to remember as well, Jim Ryan has said that... Uh, Backwards compatibility is something that uh, the vocal minority are on about. Yeah. Uh, from all the research that they've done, let's not forget this is Sony. This is a big ass they company. They do things like, properly. They know what will make them money and what is worth investing in. Yeah. How they got it to work on the PlayStation 3 from memory is that they had a PlayStation 2 inside the PlayStation 3. That's why they stopped doing it because it was huge, expensive, overheated. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that, that's why it got stopped. Um it's also like... If, the, if you can find a way to do it like Xbox do with some of their backwards compatible games in that you have the disc, you put it in the drive and it actually goes to a, a server. remade version of that game. Like, so it works correctly on the box in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like... You know why they... Put, if you, if you why put, it's not everyone? Every game, though? Because they have to get... 
the permission from the developer to make it free to be able to download when someone puts in the game because yeah. it's not... Yeah, Yeah, I just want to play the original Buffy game again. But no. I've got it. Anyway, um, so who are we giving it to? The other, thing, the other thing is as well, you, you know, if you've got the old console, you've still got it. Yeah. Like, if, like, you've yeah. got it there. Well, people do sell it. Like, we're in Australia. We're lucky that we, we do have rather large... Most of us have rather large houses and we can afford ah, to store this. stuff like this. Um, whereas, yeah. like, say, just as an example, Japan, where Xbox is not doing well. And everyone lives in a cupboard. Like, like easy now. Did They're, you hear about that rumor? About them maybe marketing the Xbox as the new Sega console in Japan? Was that no. the rumor? It was, yeah, it was a rumor. Like, so the Xbox may have been bre- like, partnering with Sega. I oh, know it's not going to happen, but there was a rumor that so it was going to come out as the new Sega console to, to sell to Japanese. I'm like, oh man, I would love that. It's not going to happen. But, like, <laughs> how good would that be? Anyway, so who are we giving it to? Who's got the upper hand on that? Can we do a can we do a know, draw? I don't know. If I, think, I don't know if we I think have an draw. upper hand because I don't think it's a it's 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 a thing like going like oh is it going to be it to me it's just a tiny feature it doesn't push so, any sales. I'm going to call it. You do it. Turumasen. I don't know what that means. Ikiwaki. I still don't know what that means. Ikiwaki. Turumasen. It means. It means no discount. It means no worries. It means draw no score. Oh, cool. So I'm grading this like I'd be uh, refereeing one of my uh, karate, karate things. <laughs> uh, so we got Aka. Mm. Yeah, boom. Yeah. Uh, and for this one, it's... Uh, I'm so scared right now. Kuda Matata. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Platform exclusive games. Oh, Weebo, you just got caught in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Weebo. So, uh, Michael Towns, we still owe you money, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, platform exclusive up games. PS5 have Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Rusen, Rumored Horizon Zero Dawn 2, Godfall, and Quantum Error. Now, I've got a video here because I don't think Dan's seen this, and I think it's a bit of a his game. Quantum Error. Quant- Quantum Error. Our uh, Series X has Hellblade 2, The Medium, and Halo Infinite. Who do we think is winning at the moment with platform exclusive we, games at launch uh, um, Braden I have a very strong opinion about this <laughs> I think we all oh, do oh damn <laughs> Xbox um, Xbox do not have platform exclusives they do not no they don't have console exclusives they have platform exclusives they have platform exclusives not console exclusives yeah. good but point, when good point. no one has to go out and buy a new console why does it matter at all well again we're going back to they want uh, users buying their yeah. games users. pass yeah that's what they're after. That's yeah, what they're game. basing their metrics on. There. So yeah, Sony's still going, cards. I'm going to get this game to sell a console. Yeah. Xbox are going... Oh, well, Sony no. probably also are making a loss on the console. And that's generally what they do. Unlike Nintendo, who will make money every console sold, Sony is well known to... Um, not make money. Not on make money on the yeah. console, but make it up with the software. Yeah. The medium was that Silent Hill one, wasn't it? Yeah. That Silent Hilly one. Yeah. Um, exclusives... The Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima and Horizon Dawn are coming to PlayStation 4, aren't they? The P- oh, well, no. This Well, they're ba- they're compatible across them. Yeah. So, so Last of Us t- Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima are PlayStation exclusives and you can play them on your PS5. They've already said that. I really wish they were. So weren't. let's put it like this. If you didn't own any PlayStations or any Xboxes and you were going to pick one from this lineup, yep. it's PS5. Yeah, I think Hands so. Hands down. Hmm. That medium no- game and Halo. I'm a massive Halo fan, so to me, I, I will play Halo Infinite no matter what. But I'll get it on Games Pass, PC, <laughs> I'll play yeah, it yeah. and I'll play so, it with just as good a graphics. So I guarantee it than uh, Xbox Series X on PC, especially yeah. my PC. So I mean, what are we cool. thinking here? Like, I, I I don't know which. Well, I mean, I know which one I'd personally choose. Personally, I'd go Sony. for PS5 because those games speak to me. Um, knowing that, as Floppy said, Weird. if I had. A, a no PS4 and I had Halo Infinite or I had uh, Horizon 2 alright Horizon 2 yeah. all the way I think you have to do it as if you didn't have any consoles and you're going to buy one based on those mm. um, alright so I'll give that one to Sony Aka yeah right Nippon uh, <laughs> service content so we spoke about this at length already. The Series X will have Games Pass, which is fantastic. I, I have Games Pass, and that is great, and I highly recommend it. PS5 has PS Now, which we don't get here in Australia. So I'm assuming we won't be getting it when the PS5 rolls around, which means we have no Maybe we will. Netflix what is, type service. PS Now is like their Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. But like you never, I never hear about like on other 
you know, American uh, sites, and they never mention that. They always mention Game Pass. Mm. Like, so is it the same? That's what I want to know. Like, is I it... think it's the same. I just don't think it, it, they haven't rolled it out everywhere, have they? No, it's only it's in America. Definitely not. Is it only in America? I thought it was only in like a Europe thing. No, I'm pretty sure they have it in America, but yeah, we don't have it here because yeah. internet. Um, so I'm actually going to give that one to Xbox. I'd give yeah, it to yeah. You. Like, I don't Xbox like Xbox. Well, I it's, think it's, Xbox. it's a hard one to talk about because we don't have a comparison for it. But, but uh, if we don't have a comparison, then we can't give it to PlayStation even if we wanted to. Because you have a they've... standout winner if you don't have a comparison. I'm, exactly. a, I'm actually thinking that, because you know how PlayStation has been playing their cards pretty close to the chest mm-hmm. recently, well, um, all, all the time. Um, I reckon there's going to be, like, it's going to come it? out and they're probably going to have their own version of Games Pass on there, that like, kind of thing. Like, they'd be, I mean, they'd be silly they, not to. I mean, how they do things, though. I mean, but yeah, I know. that They, they, I mean, they did PS Plus with the free games. They were the first people to start. I didn't think Xbox did that. Did they? And they PS got... Plus, when it launched, had four games per month. It's only recently it's gone down to two. Yeah. And, like, it was free on the PlayStation 3 to play multiplayer games online, whereas Xbox 60, you had to have Xbox Live Gold, which yeah, you had yeah. to pay for. If you paid for PS Plus on the PS3, you got free games, but you could use the the server or servers for free. Mm. All right. So, yeah, Series X gets that. Yeah. Controllers. We've got the PS5 DualSense or the Series X uh, generic controller. controller. <laughs> <laughs> they have all the time. Yeah, they've got backwards compatible controllers as well, don't they? They yeah. do. They do. So, yeah, the uh, X-Bone controllers are backwards or oh, well, forwards compatible is how they say it. Um, I am going to say that when I got my uh, Xbox la- or the couple of weeks back and got the controller, I actually was sitting there thinking, you know, this isn't as comfortable as the PlayStation 4 one. See, so, yeah, I've got friends who are, are polar opposites to that, and I actually think it's a subjective. Like, it's what the, you grew up with. Well, I mean, for me, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is the best out of all of them. And I'm not saying that as a Nintendo mark. I'm it's saying got that... the weight of an Xbox controller, but with the, uh, the, 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 the actual and, and you know, smart placement of analog sticks, which is symmetrical like your thumbs, mm. um, of a PlayStation controller. Yeah, no, I, I think, like for me, the Nintendo Switch one is the best. But out of the two, the PlayStation 4 controller felt a lot better. If the PS5 DualSense, which I think we did a over... Uh, comparison oh it's on the yeah, screen it's right now biggest, like, it's a little bit bigger a little bit bit of a chunkier boy so that'll feel a bit better in your hands i think i like the size of the xbox controllers like i always have like the size of them i i hate with the and do you know what we also one confirmed. of those guys i hate it uh we got confirmed that the dual sense controller is going to be in black as well yes because we saw it on that teaser trailer when yep. they were going to reveal some of it so we can unless, get it in white and black unless that was just a dark room so this is going to be subjective <laughs> right? I think void of light yeah i don't think uh, there's one that's better than the other it's going to be what you like like i like the playstation controllers because that's what i grew up to using. tell the truth when i'm playing a game i i on a playstation or an xbox i never think about the controller in my hand i i just use it and it just works you know what i mean like it's not a thing. Brados? Now, it's going to be interesting Brados. having this conversation once they're out because PlayStation with the DualSense are trying new things. That's mm. true. Whereas mm-hmm. I haven't heard anything new. changed with the Xbox controller. The problem is it doesn't need to be changed. Is it a thing that like, they're, going, they're just trying to change for change's sake? There's nothing wrong with the controllers. I never go, oh man, I wish this like, was a bit more sensitive in these departments or that. I, I, I don't ever think that. I, it might just be me. As I said, I think this is a subjective subject that it... And I have people that swear to God, they're like, oh, man, I hate PlayStation controllers. Oh, I hate Xbox controllers. And I'm like, how can you hate them? Well, because you're fanboys. That'll be fanboys. Like, I don't like the Xbox controller, but I don't hate it. Like, it's like, I'd prefer the PlayStation controller. But it, uh, that'll be fanboys. People okay, so the winner here is something. clearly Nintendo. Moving on. <laughs> um, yeah. but, but as far as marketing goes and stuff, like, they have, like, PlayStation is putting a lot of effort with the new controller. They showed it. They have gone into it. It does have a whole bunch of gives me wow wows on it. That, yep. um, it looks beautiful. It's obviously coming in different colors and tones, leading to the point where they might probably going to bring out a whole bunch of different color tones of the actual console itself, if we ever see it. Um, so I actually think in this sense, if you're going like, to do it with what, what we've seen so far from these new consoles about the controllers, PS5 wins it. Because they had a whole thing about it. And Xbox has just said, yeah, you can just use the old ones. Mate. <laughs> All right, fair point. Power. <clears throat> now, on paper, Series X appears more powerful. Now, you have to remember, we have no idea what we're talking about with all this technical spec- specifications. We're Terror just going blocks. on what everyone else has said. Yeah. Is power really relevant? Well, they're I clearly going to be more powerful than the last gen because it's yep. 100 times. And I assume the new Xbox is going to be 100 times better than the other one. That's all I assume. I'd assume. Like, I never... Like, 
when the, the new consoles are coming out, I never think, oh, I got to find out how much exactly more powerful it is. Do you know what will sh tell me, show me that? The games. Games yep. will. I will see it. I will see load times. I will I'll be like, oh my god, this is better. <laughs> That's all it'll mean to me. Like, as always, long as it's better, I'm heaps happy. Do you always find it funny that whenever they bring out a new one, it's always like marketed as the most powerful console on the market? Of You're course, like, of course it, is. it is. It's the newest one, you dickhead. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you bring it out. Here's a new console. Not quite as good as PlayStation 2. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Newest console on the market. Made it a little bit less powerful than the last one. Yeah. New bit. console. Come on. Just just buy it, you shithead. Yeah. Get the old one. Um, Come on. I feel we should have a... a I, I want to do a little... I mean, to me, I, that's my thing with this one. Yeah, I, I don't I'm, care. Yeah. But I do, want to, I do want to bring up another little topic. Um, I want to talk about the marketing. Of what's been happening so far. Okay. Do you not mind? Ben? Yeah, because well? I think yeah, 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 yeah. I think we have different opinions on what's good on the marketing. No, but I like think. marketing, I think it's, I think the, the whole thing has changed again. And recently, uh, I, I've been looking at what PlayStation's been doing, and I'm like, okay, it's getting closer to whatever dates that these are all coming out. And PlayStation still hasn't shown their box. And everyone's going, ah, this sucks, man. PlayStation's not showing their box. What are they doing? They're stuffing up. Um, what? <laughs> PlayStation hasn't shown their box. Yeah, yeah. Look. Um, and but okay, I think okay, this is I think on. this is a beautiful, beautiful marketing from them because like, remember when Xbox showed their box? Xbox showed their, they, they just showed show it to anyone. They showed their. Like you come in, those go. Here's my box. Check they it out. Showed it, you know, whenever it was way back then, it came, it went. It's no <laughs> it longer did a all talking right. point. No. Now it's getting closer. Now that everyone's already had it. Yeah. Um. Let us have a conversation, Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. But funny. But the, yeah, I, I feel that PlayStation is drip feeding everything at the perfect times, and it's keeping the the conversation relevant the whole way through this waiting period. But I think Xbox blew their load too early. <laughs> <laughs> His head's going to explode. Look at it. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, you, you lost me on when the when when box was dripping. Yeah. Um, do you, do you know what I mean? I yeah. think this is a and people are like, oh they're not showing anything they're blowing their, their thing they're not they're doing it all beautifully spaced apart as soon as like like hype died down about the controller they gave us something else as soon as the hype died down they gave us something else and the last thing they'll give us is the box they leave right? you wanting more all the time exactly and i think at first i was like xbox is nailing this but now my like, xbox you've blown your load already <laughs> there's nothing more there you've cleaned up you've gone home that's true they've come out and they've said all right here it is and everyone went, oh yeah xbox well done yeah cool um now it's like all right when's it out and then yeah, right. but even more so in that case for Xbox, them coming out and saying the console's not going to have any exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> so, Here it is, and you don't need to buy it for a year. So, and, no, but even more so to the case, like, yes, they're doing like a new thing every month. They're showing off different things, but they're not showing off anything new. Yeah, no, but that last one that we had, it it's was right. it was third party <laughs> games. Yeah, like they didn't show any. Like, at least show us another Halo cutscene. Like give us yeah. something. And to do you know what? Bite into. Do you know what the most irrelevant thing is? What the actual box looks like in the end? It's what the games look like. Yeah. So that's why they're just keeping that relevant. Like, doesn't matter what it looks like. It'll come out. It'll be fine. It'll be a black box. It'll sit in my cabinet. It'll, it'll be, be a big V with five fans, and it'll be ugly as hell. And it's gonna. God, look, it's gonna wait. look like one of those swamp like motor thing. Right? You know, with the big fans. <laughs> yeah. No. But yeah, I, I agree. Like, um, Xbox come out and they've given us a lot of information and just drip fed it. But it means that it just becomes background noise. Where as soon as PlayStation come out and have mic dropped something, here's the look of the charge cable. Everyone loses their shit and it's all they talk about. Yeah. And, and they lose their shit. And that's all you talk about because it's the new and exciting and thing. Also and also, what are we going to see next? The Xbox fanboys are so heated about it that they do their advertising and for fan places. girls there's toxic fan girls out there fan as well. people i think is the politically fan, correct fan fan, fan persons mm -hmm. um i they do a lot of their marketing for playstation they keep playstation relevant by hating on it so hard but <laughs> like, it, it's true thanks, like thanks, there's nothing like you see it in like all the things <laughs> constantly bringing up hate comments and but it's still people saying playstation playstation keeping it in the consciousness that at uh, the frontal lobe of everyone but then when I, I mean, our little sphere that we, you know we live in as game dudes, and the people that are hating on it, it's a very small bubble. The whole world is huge, mm. and then like, there's it's a, interesting comment. Mm, mm. Whole mm. The whole world is huge. huge. You heard it here first. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, like having keeping it keeping PlayStation relevant to the masses is more important than like hating. I don't know. I've lost myself. <laughs> yes, Braden. Braden, save me. One other comparison I would make as well. 
Um, when you th- when you think about massive games that come out, when they tease it four years before it comes out, and by the time like you don't hear about it for eight months, and then you see another look, and then you don't hear about it for eight months, everyone gets a bit bored of that. Remember when they announced Fallout Four? People went nuts because it was like, and we're dropping it in like it three like, four months time. Well, I was less than that. Yeah, I mean Nintendo do that now. Look yeah, at, oh, like, and it's out today. Yeah, <laughs> like people go. Shit well, look at back. Apex Legends. Yeah. Like, perfect example. No one knew about it. I was like, oh yeah, new game. It's free. Go play it. And, and it did. And it blew up and it overtook Fortnite for like yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah, because this is the hype, the hype beast. Mm. Mm. Hype beast kills two things. Yep. Uh, kills uh, games. And, and games. rodents. <laughs> and rappers. <laughs> now, like, if you've got rodents anywhere, just get the hype beast in. You'll clear beast. them out. But hype doesn't kill consoles. Have you noticed? Like... Because you, when you get your console, you get what you want, kind of thing. You you need the hype for the console. It's games that like, like suffer from the hype beast because like you know, they keep going. People expectations get so high, and you get them. It's just still a great game, but people think it's going to be this game up here when it's just this game here. Well, I think that's because the console all it has to do is play the games. Like, yeah. if it does that, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, so, so, it does, yeah. yeah so hype for it is really good. Like you yeah. need to sell. You need to hype your console, otherwise. Uh, it, it doesn't have that thing of um, the after effect of playing it. You know what I mean? It does, but it doesn't... Oh, it's a hard one to work in there. Right. You know what else is hard? I'm going nowhere at the moment. I think I've just <laughs> killed myself. <laughs> Me! Because we're about to do Dan versus... <laughs> Dan versus the world. Perfect timing. Oh. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to play Dan versus the world. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, hello, welcome. Grab a cup of tea. Can I get you a quiche? Uh, we are here to play a music guessing game. I have in my little computer here. Um, I've got three songs from video game history or future or video game world somewhere. I'm going to play the first five seconds of one of those songs. Dan, representing Dan, will have a chance at guessing what that song is by asking five questions. That'll go into spurst? Sure. Between the world, which is represented by Brayden and Uh by Floppy. They'll ask, he'll ask, they'll ask five times. At the end, they get a chance to uh, guess what that song is. If they get it wrong, doesn't matter. Now, they can guess beforehand. I'm really bad at this. We've been saying for, like, years I'm going to get a screen written up with the rules so I don't have to do this, but you, you'd know it by now. They're going to guess it. If they can't guess it before five, they lose a point. We'll just get a whiteboard. And yeah, write all right. I, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. I am not very good at this game. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> no, you're up. You're up, Dan. You're up by one. You, yeah. you won two weeks in a row straight. It was only because, like, there were games relevant to me, like my generation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Song number one. Starts off a little quiet. Noodling. Is okay, that what that's called. Sure. Noodling. Question number one, Dan. Uh, what? Uh, oh, by the way, if you're in the chat, please do not. And you're not, please do not say it out in the chat um, but I, that's why I can't see anything and I took my glasses, glasses off we, we both are very blind. and Brayden knows it already so question number one Dan um, what console <laughs> what console is this on uh, this one is on originally or now originally originally PS3 um, I don't think that was our question to answer but, but okay <laughs> Brayden oh. wait, 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 question PS, number one PS3 okay I believe that's Naughty Dog's The Last of Us yes it is congratulations well you got, you got done, man. Okay. Was, I, I didn't know. I had no <laughs> idea. The <laughs> only thing I was wanting to make sure was the console. Whether it's remastered or not. I was like, is it remastered? Is it left behind? Would is I it actually from the trailer from Last of Us 2? Something like that, yes. Brayden. Yes. And yes, yes, I really would. Yeah. And I'm really disappointed that I didn't. Okay, here we go. Song number two. Dan, question oh, number one. More of that. Um, uh, what um, what genre of game is this? Uh, it's a fighting game. Fighting, eh? <laughs> World. Question number one. Have we talked about it on this show? We have. Ooh. Dan, question number two. Is it Mortal Kombat Eleven? Yes. Yes, it is. Oy! <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought it was going to be something like the DLC. I like thought you were going to say it was going to be the Mortal Kombat 11 DLC or yeah. something? I actually uh, forgot what the expansion was called. Aftermath? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. technically it's what? It's Johnny Cage's music. Um, yes, eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's exactly what... what Johnny Cage would have said. Yeah. All right, here we go. Song number three. I'm really proud of this one. Right, okay, here we go. Song number three. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. I know. Is that the whole music? Yep, that's the whole music. Dan? I'd like to hear another 10 seconds. <laughs> this is the same thing you played eight I've times. i different music. <laughs> that's not my way. That, that was a joke. One. Okay. Um, so what is... Oh, I'm trying to think of a question I haven't asked yet. I'm going to ask the same thing. What is the main protagonist? Oh, no, I didn't ask that, did I? No. <laughs> yeah. What is the main protagonist? Oh, uh, there isn't one. Okay. All right. Great game. <laughs> Floppy, you know this one? I'm not sure. Really? I know this one. No, I know what it is. I know it. I just don't know where I know it from. Oh, okay. Like, I know it. Like, I could have mm. done the little tune along to it, yeah. but I can't remember where I know it from. I'm wondering if Ben's being a cheeky shit or not. Well, um, whether well, or not he's. Wonder, you, wonder not. He is always being a cheeky shit. <laughs> True. Yeah, I was going to say. The thing. <laughs> see, the only thing I want to double check, because I want to give the answer. But I would keep the game going. Ben, he's gonna say something. No, no, wait, you said there was no protagonist, so which means, oh, mm, mm. no protagonist. No, you know what? I'm gonna guess. I don't care. Get it wrong, you dig it. It's for... the GameCube. Yes, <laughs> it's just the GameCube. It's the startup screen. Oh. Whenever you put it up there, I did say video history, video game history, including consoles. So that was that one. Woo. So. So what next we week, are we just going to have like a zoom? No, well, I was going to go Sega. <laughs> like, no, that, that's probably a little bit too. Because that would be Sonic. Because that's at the start of Sonic. That's on the start of other See, games. That well, was why it? I was wondering not if you're being no? really cheeky or not. Because I was like, is this going to become like a Game I Boy thought, game? See, I originally thought of that. I thought, oh, what Game Boy game, uh, GameCube game should I try? And I went, oh, hang on. No, because that happens whenever you boot it up without a game in there. Oh, so no. I would have been right. Anyway, Dan vs. The World, we got 16 apiece. Ooh. We're all tied up, and we're about halfway through the year now, so uh, it's getting very, very exciting. Look, look at Brayden with his uh, cyberpunk t-shirt on. It's a cool t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Brayden, take us out. Ah, uh, wait. I was showing my shirt. Here you go. We are Hack the Dino. This has been our critical path. You can catch us over on youtube.com backslash hack the dino when this goes up later tonight slash tomorrow. If you've already watched it, thank you very much for tuning in live. But if you could head over there when it's up and like it and share it and get your friends to go. We have found um, through research, and I'm being absolutely serious here, people listen to podcasts and watch shows that their friends recommend. So if you would like to help us out, Please share the VOD on YouTube or share um, the uh, podcast on Spotify. Just tell your friends and, and pass them on. That would actually help us out a whole heap. Or go onto someone else's podcast and talk about us. If you'd like us on your <laughs> podcast, drop us a line over at uh, one of the things. Yeah, I'll and be on anyone's podcast. Me too. We've got Zoom now, so we're, we're quite happy to go on podcasts and talk about everything. Uh, Dan, speaking of podcasts, you got something you want to plug? Oh, zoom in on me, Braden. Oh, we can do well, that now. Not on this screen. Yeah, I have to you jump to a different screen. Yeah, do it, do it. I want to get a close up and personal in your faces. Yeah, yeah, you're going. Um, I have a. Po <laughs> I like to plug my um horror movie podcast, Terrorvision um horror podcast. Just to search that on all uh, podcast things. Sausage man. Hello. Um. <laughs> drop him. Um, I, that, I have a horror movie podcast called Drop Terrorvision uh, Horror sausage. Podcast. Uh, I do it with Jennifer Strand. Um, she is one of my mates. We talk about horror movies. We review horror films. If you, so if you love your horror like I do, um, go check that out. And that's about it. Ter Terrorvision Horror Podcast. Just search for that. It'll find it. Make sure you have horror podcasts at the end because Terrorvision is actually a terrible old film. Floppy. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. Um, I have a little Instagram uh, place, Zoom just a place on the Instagram, uh, called Floppy Plays Games, where I like to go and <laughs> mm, <sorry>. Cuphead, <laughs> and uh, I like to post pictures of games that I've picked up, games that I'm playing, and things like that. So if you uh, would like to see what I've been doing, check him out. What? <laughs> oh yeah, come check me out at Floppy Plays Games on Instagram. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, Randall Dixon. Uh, Brayden, <laughs> do you want to plug some stuff? 
Yo, um, I do Friends a gag. movie podcast with my friends. Uh, Dan's been on the bunch as a guest, actually. Yeah, and, Dan. Um, oh, we all know who his favorite yeah. is, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dan can come on our podcast. Is it about movies? Yeah, 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 it's, it's about, about movies. movies. Yeah, and, like, and, uh, oh, yeah. and, and floppy's going on it. Yeah, floppy's right? going on there. It's all right. That's all fine. Right, movies. You have to be able to watch. You have to watch films to go on it. Oh, I sorry. used to study films, so you. If you you're a writer and you're not, clap your hands. I'm a writer. <laughs> not a good one. I'm a writer. Uh, I ride bikes. <laughs> Millennial Movie Talk. <laughs> hey! Go check out Millennial Movie Talk and all podcast things. If you want to listen to more of me, I'm on it sometimes. I've got a podcast, which none of these jerks are a part of. Exactly, called... but stop complaining. Well, <laughs> it's called Retro Trigger, where we talk about retro things. Uh, coming up this Friday. So next Friday, we have got... Oh, come on. Behave. God, maturity level. Um, coming up... We know. Uh, coming up this Friday, I've got Sean Fuster, who's an award-winning uh, uh, writer. He is a uh, court reporter for the Adelaide Advertiser, and he's also a massive Transformer Gen 1 fan. So we will be talking about Transformers Generation 1. And let me tell you, that guy knows too much about Transformers. So you can check us out by either subscribing to the podcast feed here, because it comes out, because it's a spin-off of Hack the Dino. See, I don't go off on myself. I stay true to the main show and try and bring new things in with new people and new listeners. I, I'm not an egoist. You have, I, you have a pretty cool guy on that first episode. Oh, well, you know. We should do a shout-out to Braden's dad in the chat. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my dad. Ray Ray Duncan. Duncan. Last minute. Yeah, right. thanks for coming in the last two seconds. He we really appreciate like it. Randall Dixon. No. 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 Is that not Nostalgia how you do it? Nostalgia out soon. Is that not how you do wrestling? Nostalgia out soon. Braden. Nostalgia. Cut it.